other, um, where is this? Hold on. Late night, Leticia. Look, I'm pointing the right way. I got everything up. My hair is kind of whack, but that's okay. That is minimal. Let's, this is going to be pretty easy. Um, title of the stream is I'm gonna have to rebrand again because so this used to be late night larson and then daniel larson is a, a maniac and i was like i'm cutting him i'm axing him we're gonna go into leticia mode but leticia um apparently is not allowed to post on social media according to her court stuff so unless she wants to go back to jail i don't think we're going to be seeing her again so this is going to end this is going to end eventually um eventually meaning probably sooner than later and i have i'm gonna get this pulled up here so i should have probably shown this the other stream uh but i didn't know about it <laughs> so hat man here um uh, put out a little update here it says release conditions of uh, of her being released from jail. So I'm going to go into it here for us. And then once we basically hit like the end of Adonis's videos, and I think Owl did, original Owl did some videos as well um, that we might look into because I think they were maybe going to more detail than just this document. Uh, I think they're like three hour live stream. So I'd have to skim through them. And like pick out certain parts. That's going to be the end of Letitia. Letitia's going to be done. Um, and and say la vie. So I'm sorry. We're, this is the one series that gets rebranded like fucking crazy. Um, and then also it's on what day is this today? Sunday to the, this week. Because Wednesday's Halloween. And I want to save that for a spooky James special. So it's going to be James Soroka. Spooky haunted hotel craziness with some twists and turns in there um so i'm getting that prepped for either tomorrow or halloween uh and that's going to be the costume contest so there's going to be no time for leticia on wednesday um uh, yeah i know that's a hey hey Tina. <laughs> hey maya um no we're still going to get through all of leticia it's just like there's definitely an end in sight with her because she's it doesn't look like she's coming back after after whenever so let me get this um, played here. I think that. Oh, yeah, I just muted. Okay. Because there's just music. So this is her like releasing. Um, this is Leticia Collins. On this date, the court conducted a hearing and determined that the defendant should not be detained protectively pending trial for the following reasons. The petition was denied after a hearing. The court denied the state's detention petition. Uh, mandatory release conditioning defendant shall be discharged from the sheriff's custody or remain in free custody. In this case, as conditions of defendant's release, defendant shall be required to do all of the following during the pretrial pendency on this case. So must appear in court to defend or to answer the charges ordered by the court uh, until discharge or final order. Defendant must submit to the orders and process of the court. Uh, must not violate any criminal statute or law of any jurisdiction, uh, must file a written notice of address change within the circuit clerk within 24 hours of any changes of address as well. Um, and then this box is checked off, so I don't think that's anything. And then additional discretionary conditions. I think this is where we're basically getting the gist of it. So after considering the rel relevant statutory factors and all relevant information available, the court sets the following additional discretionary conditions for the defendant's release. Um, so no personal contact defendant shall refrain from having any contact either directly or indirectly with the following persons, they're blanked out or any member of their family, no premises contact. And then it also says pretrial supervision and reporting. So she has to report uh, to the McLean County Court Services Office and comply with all reporting requirements of the pretrial supervision program. Uh, and then she has to go undergo an evaluation apparently as well. Uh, she'll obtain and follow the recommendations of the following a mental health evaluation. And what does that say? Continue her medication. Uh, nothing about fire. What the fuck? She's allowed to have firearms still? After everything she said, she's still allowed to have firearms? That's kind of crazy. 
Um, I know people in less legal mumbo jumbo that don't get their firearms and I think are less crazy than the t shirt. That's funny. Whatever. Um, no electronic monitoring. Either. Oh, I guess that means like an ankle bracelet. And then the other conditions, defendant shall be uh, subject and comply with the following additional re release conditions. Uh, what the fuck does that say? Exit. What the fuck? Exitate waiver at extradition. Okay. I don't know what that first part says, but the second part says no posting on social media, like right there. I don't know what the fuck that first part says. Execute waiver of extra. I don't know. But that's the big thing right there. So no posting on social media, which means there's not going to be any more Latidia. Uh, this was apparently. What? Oh, the next hearing is on Halloween. That's spooky. <laughs> there we go. So I don't know what's going to happen to that hearing. Um, maybe, okay, maybe we can salvage the series if we just follow this court case. As long as, like, I don't have to, ah, maybe if we do, if we do have to pay for court documents. We'll see how much the court documents cost if they want to give it to a, a Canadian. Um, and maybe that's what we can switch it to. I was going to say, I have other people on the back burner. I just have to look more into them. Um, so it's definitely something we could swap them out with, but. I didn't know it was still ongoing. I thought it was just like, I don't know. We got to learn more. So maybe we won't have to cancel the series or rebrand it. I don't know. And then this is her being crazy and it's going to get, <laughs> we're going to get off of this. So let's go back to, uh, this is where we left off from the last stream. This is Adonis Paul's um, stuff that we've been watching, which I actually really like Adonis Paul. He's shows like, I don't know if they're the full con most, most of the context um and he just throws in little bits here and there so it's uh it's a nice summary of everything i also liked owl summaries so you should sub to them both if you like the leticia stuff um i guess i'm gonna go look more into this court stuff after and yeah leticia is a crazy lady maya she is um if you go watch the other one <laughs> the other before this will get a gist of her even if you just watch this one you'll, you'll get a gist of her I, I she i only think she ramps up she never really ramps down i mean like i guess when she's not allowed on social media you're already in jimmy costume remember to submit your things before midnight of halloween um or else it won't be counted and let's get right back into uh oh, Make sure there's volume. Uh, this crazy thing. Make sure we can actually hear. Come on. I like to move this car so they don't throw it. Um. Okay. So just to bring us up to speed to anyone who's just coming into this hot and fresh, this is where she trespasses on her ex's property um, and then she refuses to leave and then the cops have to come to get her out but then she like I think fakes a panic attack in her car. So then the life person is here. The life assistant person is here to, to help her. Um, and then I think her car gets towed. I'm not sure. But that's like, that's the events leading up to this. I don't know why I left in such a weird place. I thought we should <laughs> probably should have at least got through this part. Yeah, they're going to take care of it. Okay. Are they going to move it or are they going to tow it and I have yeah, to pay? I to Maybe. Because I don't have money. Come on. I don't have the money to keep fighting you people, fighting you for what's right, what's right, what's God is not good. Please don't touch me right now. Please don't touch me. Just Please don't touch me. I have had bouts of sexual abuse. I don't like to be touched when I don't. Facebook usually does. <laughs> Who's, where is it going to go? This is my only property. Your car is not Hold on. Let me know if you guys can hear it as well. Because <laughs> it's it seems pretty low, but maybe it's not low for you guys because it should be like a direct input. Your car is not my concern. Your health is my concern. It should be your concern. Okay. And these medics are trying to help you, so you need to go with that. You need to no. I want to move my vehicle. Yeah, so suddenly she's not having a panic attack and it's just fine uh, when she learns her vehicle is going to get towed. So yeah, that's why I think she's faking it. Also, she just wants to be like a victim so she doesn't get like catch charges. But 
Oh my God. I remember it's all coming back now. I was getting really frustrated because they were like, just leaving. She's like, I can't leave. I'm like, they're letting you go. They're not even charging you. Like, but she needs to be in control because she's a crazy person. Okay. Why? What do you mean? Can someone else move it out of the way so I won't have it towed? I don't have the money to get it out of. Here's how this is going out. In two minutes, if you're not in the back of that ambulance, you're going to go to jail. Okay? The medics I don't are understand here to help you. you. I don't understand the you. are here to help you. Okay? If you're going to go to the hospital, you need to walk with them to the back of the ambulance. If you don't, in two minutes, you're going to jail with us. Why? Because I just told you. Now you're getting ultimatums because you didn't just leave when you had the chance to. But that doesn't make any sense. It does. That if, doesn't if make any if sense. If your concern is your car, then this you is don't my need only the medics, property. So I need to go let them treat people that need to be treated. I do need to be treated, so obviously. But I also need to take care of the one property I have. What's more important? This, so that I don't lose it financially. Okay. Well, you don't need to go. I'll sign your release. I will release my own liability. I don't want to go to jail. I mean, obviously. Okay. What are they going to do with all my property? You can bring your purse and whatever in the car that you need to take with us. This isn't helping disabled citizens that are homeless. <laughs> this isn't helping disabled citizens that are homeless. Well, I don't think that's like their job. Their job is to get you the fuck off the property, off of the property you're trespassing on. And um, yeah, if, you, if you're not going to move your car, they're not going to move it for you. They're going to get a tow truck too. They're liable if like they move your car. What if something happens to it? They're not gonna they're not gonna cover that. This is hurting them. Why would you do that to me? Obviously, Why? I'm You're... taking you to the hospital because you have but, to go. But to also hospital. too that the, the the financial restraints afterward. How are you gonna expect me to be able to get my back on everything? I don't understand. You're under arrest. No, I, I no Well that worked out well for you, didn't it, Leticia? After storming her husband's property like the beaches of Normandy, Leticia learns the hard way that if you are mediocre at faking panic attacks, you can still end up in cuffs. All she had to do was let her car get towed. Oh, so she ended <laughs> I don't know. Maybe her car got towed and she ended up in cuffs because she wasn't cooperating. Which if she were in the middle of a real medical emergency, would have been no problem. She just went to jail and got charged with criminal trespassing, which she deserves of her own volition because she didn't want to have her car towed and have to pay to get it out. Well, look at you now. We now join Leticia, where she has to walk about six miles from the jail and go pick up her car from impound anyway because screaming about rape isn't a get-out-of-jail-free card. So I'm currently leaving the detention center because i was arrested by yeah because you're crazy and you didn't, <laughs> you didn't just leave it <sighs> i mean like this is a little satisfying because that was driving me nuts i was like she she they can't just let her leave now because violently arrested um i have lots of bruising and um scrapes all over my feet was assaulted while being arrested i was having a panic attack and it's how come that wasn't recorded everything else was recorded i didn't see no assault actually on video all of it where i had gone over to my ex-husband's house to talk to him face to face you're slamming on the door you like oh you fuck that fat bitch i'm gonna come get you what do you mean yeah this is totally civil discussion guys as to why I haven't seen my child in five years. And tomorrow is her birthday. So I just sat in the detention center for approximately five hours right now. Okay, hold up. So we're at 103. For anyone who hasn't seen this before, you, you guys need to see how she was fucking acting there. Up, up, up. Opposed to this story. So hold on. 103.41. 103.41. Well, I'll... I hope I remember that. Let me get... Where the fuck does this start? Okay, that's the door. We'll just, I'll just give you guys a little taste, if you didn't see it last time. Ask people, I want my child. This is not okay. 
And of course, I record everything because I know damn well that people need to see this as relevant information with someone who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. Step out. Step out. I want to see your face, how fat and fluffy it is and how he enjoys it so goddamn much and your nasty teeth, how you don't take care of them. I would love to get that on video, please. I want to see who's rearing my child. I want to see who's actually the mother of my child. Are you insane to think that you could replace me? Are you insane? Do you, you just wanted to talk, guys? You just wanted to talk. It was not, it was a <laughs> civil conversation. So, um, yeah, you get the gist. I mean, she starts banging on the door too. I'll play it for a little bit more just to see. I don't remember when that happened. Do you know how incredulously stupid you look? Do you know how stupid you're going to look soon enough married to a rapist? Do you realize, huh? I will be back. I will continue to come back. And this is my first attempt at warning you, you fat slob. Look at this. You can't even clean up this. Disgusting. You're a fucking whore. Let's see. Let's see this officer come up and tell me. Let's see. What do you have to say, officer? Let's see. Hello. And then we saw, so that's uh idea. So I just want to just, I guess we don't get to see her banging on the door, but you guys can go back to the other stream if you want to see that. And all right, we'll be like, yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you, April. Hours oh. right now. Good. And they decided to let me go as opposed to charge me with any other bullshit. I do have a court date though for criminal trespassing. And I know my daughter will see all of this and she'll realize that I was just trying to get back to her side. I told them, I said, I'm having a panic attack. They didn't care. They didn't care. They want money somehow. They knew I was a homeless citizen. They knew that I've been suffering from these bouts. I have nobody to co-sign for me to get out of jail. So they did me the solid by just letting me go right now because they knew that I didn't need to be there. <laughs> they just did her a solid? You think? Adonis, tell me what actually happened. <laughs> I don't do hardly anything wrong. <laughs> That's the worst part about me is that I am so good most of the time. Most of the time. I've never seen her vegan. What are you talking about? <laughs> I tell the truth too often. It's, what? <laughs> it's the truth and everybody knows it. And that's why I was just really straight now. And of course I'm compliant. But in the instances when I'm having panic attacks, I detach. There's no reason for me to fake that I'm paying attention in those moments. So when they don't get a response, they take that as me being, um, what's the word? You were responding for sure. You responded different ways for different people, but you were definitely responding. You're arguing with psychology with the lady cop, and then you were like, just, I don't know, hamming it up for the guy cops. Uh, <laughs> like, <clears throat> defiant. That I get, I get defiant is what it is. It's just defiant. I'm not grateful that my feet are bloody. The tops of my feet are all bloody. My wrists are sore. I have scrapes and bruises all over me. None of this is okay. None of this is okay. If you're trying to appropriate yourself as a good citizen, they should allot you some things, but they what were you doing to appropriate yourself as a good citizen in this scenario? I mean, you were disobeying officers. You were, uh, you were breaking laws. I don't know how that's being a good citizen. They don't see me as a good citizen, which is actually kind of funny because <laughs> I, I've done everything in my human capability to not be like my family. Mm, it's her family's fault, guys. Like that officer that grabbed me up after, you know, whatever. And he was just sick of hearing me talk. And I'm just like, no, bro, I'm going to get a fucking lawyer. I'm going to get an attorney. You fucking hurt me so bad. My fucking hands are so bruised and my feet are so bruised. Can you show us? Just show us a little bit. <laughs> and normally, 
I don't even feel the fucking pain because all the emotional scars that I've lived through, the psychological abuse and everything. So then when I wake up and I realize how much pain I'm actually in, and people don't realize that they're just like, when did she, she fell, this is the same day, I'm pretty sure, but when did she fall asleep in the middle of this? Oh, a few sc scuffs, a few bruises. Oh, but you left fucking emotional scars that'll last me the rest of my fucking life. <sighs> the rest of my life. <sighs> I can't believe you listen to a rapist. Oh. Demons coming out of her. What? I guess she means her ex-husband is the the rapist. All these times, different rapists. I just can't believe it. I can't. It makes me want to just jump out in front of the next vehicle. It really does. Oh. So what? This is like. There is multiple. Um, declarations of self-deletion that she does uh <laughs> so she did like what two in the car and now another one out here so we're on like number three for this day i did not know people donated their money april why the hell would anyone donate this lady money who in their right mind would do that that's insane to me and everybody's like oh you're so dramatic no i'm not dramatic he just wanted to grab me because i was looking cute today that's the only fucking reason and i that's fucking crazy. know it because he wanted to, to me, fucking talk crazy. shit, abuse a cute girl that knows more than him through psychology. And I told him, too. Well, I calmed down after a few hours and the nurse asked me back to her room and she ended up telling me. She said, well, I'm glad that you're able to smile now because I gave her a smile. She said, I'm glad that I can understand you now because before I couldn't I couldn't make it through your crying because I can't deal with crying. I'm sorry, you're a nurse at a jail and you can't deal with people's emotions. I don't understand that. I just want to be dead. <laughs> no one understands. I just want to make this is still this is still the same day. When did she get into the woods of the fort? This is like a lot of acting. If that if this is true, April, that's very sad. And um I don't know, I'd probably explain a lot, but that doesn't give her a free pass to be like insane either, you know. Um, she should probably go try to get some help and uh I don't know, fix some shit. They kill me so badly. All this trauma, all this sexual abuse, no one sees it. No one sees it. I try to file charges. When I speak out to the officers, they don't hear me. They hear everybody else. It makes no sense. Was there any? I know that like the the two people she accused of rape, there was like a lot of receipts and text messages of it being very consensual. So I, I don't know. I don't know what she's describing here. But if it's those people, like I don't think so. It makes no sense. I am not manipulative. I'm not. How is this extreme? <laughs> this is an extreme. This is just right. This is exactly what people feel when they go through shit like this. They feel lost. They feel alone. They feel destitute. They're homeless. Is she homeless? Because I was going to ask, where the fuck is she going? Because they towed the car? They did tow the car, right? Um... And I guess she lives out of the car and she doesn't have the money to get the car out. If that's the case. That's really sad. But why did you play with fire? Why didn't you just leave when you had the chance? Why did you fake a panic attack? So I don't like, I mean, that's sad, but that's not too sad because <laughs> this is insanity. They have no love. They have no family. They have no child anymore. Oh, but my body shows it. My body, oh, it shows that there's plenty of scarring and everything, yeah. It doesn't matter. A mother, a childless mother. Oh, you're going to all get your fucking karma for making me suffer so badly in this realm. I want all the nice things. I don't want to just be raped in my sleep. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? This is what I do when nobody sees. Every day. Because did that even happen? Hold up.
Let me just double check. Because, like, how long was she in jail for? We're at 109.23. So back in the jail day. This was the same day. This was the same day. My goodness. We were at 109? Uh-oh. I think we are at 109. We are now. <laughs> I'm so pretty cute. So when I moved down here about 14 years... She just said she was pretty cute. <laughs> Hold on, let's put it back just a bit. Come on, YouTube. Every day. Oh, I can't handle all this. I can't handle this. <laughs> really glad I put it back, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so pretty. I'm so cute. I'm so pretty. I'm so cute. Wow. Okay. That's a very odd thing. <laughs> what? I'm so pretty cute. So when I moved down here about 14 years ago, right? what? I dressed too slutty for the locals. And I knew after a while that I was getting picked on and I was getting pinpointed because I had stalkers at my house. I knew there were stalkers because I saw shadows in the windows. That's the best way to know if they're stalkers or not, if they're shadows on the windows. That's so why I need to share these stories with my daughter so she knows where I'm coming from because I've been forced away from her. And it wasn't my fault. The day before her birthday, when she turned nine years old, her mother got no. dragged Blanket. off her dad's property because she was there looking for her. She was there looking actually to see okay. if I could talk to my piece of shit ex-husband to get him to understand what the universe wants of him. I'm not enforcing my will, idiots. I'm enforcing God's will. It's 9 p.m. right now. And I'm sitting outside of one of the 24 hour gyms. I just. So she's outside of a 24 hour gym. Why are you being so quiet? So, Letitia. Um, and this is the, still the same day. So, I guess it's at night. She's got, looks like she got her car back. So, she got her car back. It's nighttime. I don't know where else it's going to take us. Got my car out of impound, and my arm is still uh, having muscle spasms. But nobody listens to me. And still, they stand up for the rapists like they did for my dad the day that I was homeless when I was 17. It all just circles back around. So that's why I disclose all of this. And I was begging, no, 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 no. Now it's on the CCTV camera at my ex-husband's house, but whether or not that video is still viable anymore, because I have no idea. Some of the video that was of me naked in the uh, storage unit a year ago, what? What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, she was naked in a storage unit, and like this shit was caught on CCTV, but her ex-husband has it, so it's not, it's not going to give it up or something. I don't know. I, no, I don't know what the fuck's happening. When I went back to ask for the video of me offering my belongings to the officers to find my phone and keys, they said that that video was no longer there. I can't handle myself so badly that I just want to cuddle up next to the one person that I know is safe. And that's my daughter. Yeah, no, I don't think that. Yeah, because April, we get, went into that, I think, this last year in the stream before. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? So when she's, especially when she says shit like that, like, I just need to be with my daughter. You let your daughter's fucking crib on fire. And, <laughs> but she wasn't in it. I don't care if she wasn't in it. You lit it on fire. Like, I had my pets. I used them in that sense for companionship. And now I have no one. How am I supposed to go to the courts and tell them I'm homeless? I want to see my kid. I'm going through bouts of stress and depression and I, suicidal ideations because I have no one and I need love. And I would like to see my kid. You've all destroyed my life. And I hope that you're happy. I hope that this makes you happy at the end of the day, making someone hurt. Because my pain is apparently funny to you people. You think that I'm fucking with you, but I'm not. I'm not at all. I laugh because you guys are sick. I'm just smart. I'm so like, I'm assuming she's getting donations. 
while doing all this shit. So this is just like a like a crying grift kind of thing. Um, a sympathy grift. I'm not some crazy fucking person. I don't want anything from anybody. Really. I just want to have a family and my kid back. <laughs> that is like Heather. Heather would say some shit like that. <laughs> but James wouldn't. James like, okay, guys, I need you to call CPS on my own kid. Uh, thank God, like, his audience was just bots and us. So no one did that shit, but he wanted people to. What's wrong with you people? That's why I post my emotions. Terry needs to know I love her so much. Terry needs to know what the fuck. Why I can't get back to her. Because her dad is afraid the secrets that I held would get out. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. What's this music that's playing behind it, by the way? It's very... I don't like it. I did. People still assault you. I still need their filthy fucking mitts all over you, you sick fucks. Don't touch me. I didn't do anything wrong. Just trying to confront him and see what he said. See what you do. And then you just defend. This is all a result of her, her storming her ex's house. Just as a reminder, because I, like, this is... She's been to jail today already. She's been trespassing. And now she's doing the sympathy grift at the end of the day. I don't know. This is a... Someone should have taken this lady's phone away a while ago. The taxpayer. To me, even if you exist anyway. That physical pain. I cut it off. It detatches. That's why I don't feel it. My wrists get numb right now. I can't feel my thumb. It's numb. My arm, those residual pains from all that, and I'm grabbing me, like, no, I'll, don't touch me, don't fucking touch me. Like, somebody going through PTSD like that, you shouldn't be so aggressive. You people are evil, and you'll get your karma. Like, they're evil. Why? Why take with, take it somebody that's already going, going through bouts of stress? Obviously, these things are real, these things are true, I'm not just... Obviously, guys. Exaggerating. Or making it up. These things Pe people who are not lying usually say, I'm not lying. <laughs> it's usually a common trait with people telling the truth. Things have happened. Seven years ago, I got attacked. And then when I went to the fucking psych wards and everything, when I was coming out on all those psych meds, I remember officers asking me, Brandon, who's that? Who's that? I'm like, Wait, I know I already told you that. Tara, who's that? who's that? I was like, what? No. I know when I'm crazy. And I know when I'm not crazy. Right now, I was just under a lot of stress. I don't give a fuck that I have to go to court on the 25th. I want to replace this background music with, like, spooky music. Because she's in the dark and she's talking crazy. But this just reminds me of, like, I don't know, country? It reminds me of, like, the sunshine. And it's just repeating the same notes. More than likely, I will not show up for that. Because I won't be here. Hi. All right, we're hopefully done with that song. Or another explanation. They shot you up with Thorazine, and they couldn't understand what the fuck you were trying to tell them because you were so wasted. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to try to sober up right now, wash up, and take some photos of these bruises and shit so you guys can see. I mean, you're, you're in front of a camera right now. Just do it now. Yeah. On my Instagram, since I was blocked from Facebook for 30 days for posting my emotions toward that cunt. So anyway, my ex-husband's new wife, by the way, the one that took over my place as a mother to my child. Horrifying. You lit the crib on fire. I hope I traumatize everyone. You guys are sick, sick, and that's why I don't, I don't choose to fornicate anymore. All of that. What? No, she fucks all the time. What's she talking about? Beneath me. All right, now we're done with that song. All right, I can get into the zone now. I can't with that. That was distracting. I'm scared at what we're looking at, though. What is this? 
What is this? Oh, wait, no, we've seen this already on the actual, like, Love Notes for TLC channel. These are the bruises that were incurred. I don't even know what this is. It's like a picture of her elbow or something uh, on the 13th. So I think it's, I don't even think she talks during it. <laughs> She's just crying during it. That's what it is. Oh, it does not feel good. At first, it was like in the upper arm up in here, too. And now it's moving into here. I mean, I like the piano music goes better. Here. I don't know if you can see the bruising. Yeah. That's all discoloration. Discolorationed. That's a new word. Um, I mean, she could have just been like chewing on her hand before going live. I, it's not that discolorationed. <laughs> Whatever she said. It's not what it normally looks like. And I'm going to go back on. And it was bloody. There's a scrape right there. Oh, that did not go. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's not a good one. That looks pretty bad. It's all the skin off of it. Did she just pull out an accent? I'm traumatized. It's, it's hard like a child. Not okay. That's just with the one foot. This one's off. This one is the one I was gonna go get looked at tomorrow. I mean, they're scrapes. That other one was kind of nasty, but it was like, that's not, I would never go to the hospital for something like that. Skin off. And what would the cop do to do that? A stomp on your foot? Did you, like, I don't even know, bro. This is weird. But the, it wasn't um, cleaned properly. So I need to sanitize it with some alcohol. Okay, bitch, you need to calm down with that female privilege right there. Motherfuckers is out here getting their ass whooped and getting shot. You out here got a you got a band-aid and you want our pity? <laughs> that means like right. Waking up on my daughter's birthday and realizing that that minute of video where I mean Thunder's playing. This is gotta I think this is gonna be a good one. I mean it better be if fucking Thunder's playing. I'm being assaulted by the officers that's missing is horrifying to me. That means that there was either some way of accessing that through, you know, like the government doesn't want that to be exposed. That's horrifying for me. There's no reason for them to have gotten so violent with me yesterday. No reason whatsoever. I am Always compliant. Always. I do exactly what I'm told. No, you fucking don't. We just saw you not do that. I just can't do it immediately like they want me to. So that's why they get violent. And you were given lots of time. That's not okay. None of that is okay. And I didn't do anything wrong. I had a panic attack. And I told you I was going to comply and move my vehicle. You said two minutes. It was one minute. And then you violently assaulted me. It's way over a minute. Nobody assaulted her. She did not want to leave. She wanted to be taken away a little ambulance or fucking whatever. Um, and then once she realized her car was getting towed, that's when she didn't want to go anymore. Everybody says that it's me. Everybody says I'm the one acting out. I'm not acting out. I'm telling you what you did wrong, what caused all of this emotional turmoil. And now I can't be a normal human. I can't be a normal citizen. Because every time I try to appropriate myself for this kind of shit, you steal and rob from me anyway. Like I asked you, begged you, please, with my car. I had to pay $189 to get it out of impound. So the fact that I don't get to see my Tootsie today on her ninth birthday, October 13th, 2021, and that I attempted to try to speak to my ex-husband civilly by going up and talking to him, 
I mean, like, ACDC is pretty good without that wow guy going off. Just because I sound like I'm aggressive doesn't mean that I'm actually going to harm anybody. I am fucking... But, but I don't really want to take that chance. I don't think anyone else does either. Horrified. Do not touch me. Do not put me in fucking jail just because you're having a goddamn bad day. I mean, like, it's ironic that she's like, these people are aggressive. Lock them up. They grate me. But then, like, you're like, I'm aggressive. But don't worry about me. Like, what? I was moving my fucking vehicle and I had a goddamn panic attack and you people can't understand that? No, because we know about psychology. Yeah, okay. That's why you should have given me a few minutes to move my fucking vehicle because I was going through emotional turmoil and I pray to God that it's tenfold on you and your children. I. What do their children do? Also, you created all that. No one asked you to show up and make many, many chances to leave. Um, but I will let it go on. Explain to you that I was disabled. I explained to you that I was suffering from PTSD. You're supposed to take me to a psych ward. I have to go to the emergency room or some kind of, uh, what is that? Walk-in clinic today to get my shit looked at after destroying the rest of my belongings. Those are two very different things, by the way. An emergency room and a walk-in clinic. <laughs> two polar opposites. And then attempting suicide later today. So, and, and, and nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares that they have done so much trauma to one individual person. They're going to get so much in return. So much fucking fucked up shit. Because when souls die... This tainted and this hurt and this scarred, they leave a mark on the world and they leave a mark, a tainted mark on everyone that they've known. So, don't stick your dick in crazy. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's nine years old. And I'm going to attempt my suicide. Queen, where'd you come from? What the fuck, bro? Again, I was contemplating on how to do it last night. No tears, no nothing. It's just how it is. These attempts happen because nobody listens. Nobody wants to listen and nobody wants to change the truth. Is she wearing a friend shirt? No, I, no one wants to change what they had done wrong. Nah, she wearing some weird shirt. So that I can end up sleeping better at night. It's not okay. You leave me with scars and then I try to attempt to suicide again because that is not okay. If you aren't listening to me, you don't give a shit about me. If you don't shove me in jail, you don't give a shit about me. As I want to write a novel about it, but I can't seem to get that far because they're... She's writing novels too. <laughs> they all want to write books. I mean, like, James has been going on about his book since fucking 2017. Um, I didn't know she wanted to write a book. Heather has already written her book. She just adds to it like daily, but it's all the same shit every day. So it's not really adding anything much. There's no good ending to this story yet. Murder, maybe. You're going to take the side of some fat <laughs> what? fucking cunts that own the house. That's the kind of shit. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? You don't need to worry about me being aggressive. Maybe this will end in murder. I did. It's like, uh, that stole my kid who's. One of them is a fucking marital rapist. And I'm just like, what? I shouldn't have to go through the courts. That's what we're all like, man. Because God, and especially everyone who knows on film and everything, all these videos, someone should see this. Someone should do something about this. Even the titles of my videos. What is wrong with you people? You know that this is my reality and you still fuck with me. I pray to God I do not wake up from this fucking suicide attempt because that's what I pray each and every fucking time, but it happens anyway. And then I end up in the psych ward like I'm stupid crazy. I'm crazy mm -hmm. for wanting to leave the earth that caused me so much pain and suffering? Question mark? I could say something mean, but I won't. I took care of everything that I possibly could. Yes, I lived in a mobile home, but it was all sanitized and it was all taken care of. She didn't even walk around on the carpets because I had thought, what if there are poop particles from the dogs? What is she going on about? What does a mobile home have to do with any of this? Or the shoes. 
so I would lay out blankets for her to crawl across. Who? For who? To, what? Because I was that conscious of her well-being. I never. Oh, her daughter gave her kisses on the mouth because I never wanted her to get contaminated by any bacteria or anything from her father's penis. Why? I don't think that's a normal thought process, but you treated your kid like a, the bubble boy, basically? Just without the bubble? You're just like, okay, I'm going to roll you across the floor on blankets because there's poo particles on the carpet. I can't kiss you because I've been sucking your dad's dick. What the fuck are we listening to? Because you actually don't go around doing the things that you should do to make society be a better place. <laughs> Instead, you harass people like me who are having a panic attack. You want my money that you'll never end up getting because I'm going to commit suicide. And you need to recognize... I mean, I was about to say because you have no money, but apparently she had donations, right? ...that you scarred me for life. And that's why I'm going to attempt suicide today. So when they think I'm talking crazy, like, oh my God, Okay, so this is just the day after. This is like, we haven't even covered 24 hours. This is insane. Oh my God. So, I'm just going to say, you probably shouldn't have showed up at your ex-husband's house. And none of this would be happening right now. Uh, God wants it. Uh, no, I'm not trying to drown my child in a bathtub. Stupid asses. Stupid. No, but I'd do that to my ex-husband. I'd actually chop his balls off and feed him to him if I fucking could. I think he'd be suspicious of anything you made him after you chopped his balls off. I saw a glimpse into his house. I saw all the things that he has for himself that he doesn't have for his child. I know that you think on this plane that that marriage was dissolved. But in the spiritual realm, that shit never got justified. How do you do that, man? <laughs> In the spiritual realm, blah, we got to get like a fucking... Who can help with that? So that's why I act out. Because I know my soul is trying to teach others that that's not okay. Someone called Buddha. I don't know. I don't know who to call for that. The Dalai Lama? Like I'm just going to run away from my kid and expect that they're not going to have to do right by the world and do right by God and do right by everything? No, they're going to have to. And like I said, if not, I'll... Thank you. Yeah, we could get Jesus on this. ...spill myself, and they're going to have to see these videos regardless, and it'll still be there. And then what? Then what? I'm not even fucking threatening in that sense of not going to do it. You know damn well I'm going to do it. So, you people are stupid as fuck. I mean, anyone who's donating to her at this point would be stupid as fuck if she's like, I am going to self-delete... Give me money? Why? Why would I give a dead person money? You're stupid as fuck. All the acknowledgements of my brother hanging over top of me and my father hanging over top of me. And it all coincided with my ex-husband. So I grouped them all in the same category. Perverts. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm sitting here, like, traumatized, thinking I'm going to stab my vagina right now. TMI, bro. What the fuck? Flippity doo da. With fucking scissors. So, like the exorcist. So, and I think about that a lot actually. But I found a razor blade in my uh, storage, and I think that would work out a lot better to mutilate myself before everybody gets to see the body and the corpse. But that doesn't mean anything to me. It means nothing without my child, and it's her birthday today. And of course, I'm gonna have these rough emotions because I just got off my period and shit. Always with the menses, with this one. And nobody cares. They're like, Leticia, you've got to get the money to take him to court, then if you know they tonight, I'm like, no. What was Heather like when she had her menses? Like, because she's pregnant now, right? But did, was she like this at all? Like, I, this is weird. You need to fix your paperwork that you took. You had a disabled person without a witness signature sign something in the bout of mental upheaval, so that shouldn't even be viable in court, because that's actually true. If you were in another state where they knew about psychology, then you'd understand. If she's begging and pleading afterward, then she didn't mean to sign it. She didn't mean to sign over the rights to her child. 
Why the accent? Where the fuck did this accent come from? And when she was told not to go to the divorce hearing, and she didn't go to the divorce hearing, and I bet if I got a judge, he would speak just like this, because I know damn well down here in the South, they think they know what they're talking about, but they really don't, because they, they, they talk like this, and they don't even know it. Okay. 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 Gotcha. They don't even realize they got an accent. No. That's like the bailiff in the fucking courtroom the day that I was trying, you know, I, me and my ex-husband went to court and I was trying to talk to him and I was like, oh, you know, I'm scared. Like, I don't know who else to talk to. I don't have any other family. He was the only him family. He was the father of my child. And so I thought talking to him, like I, I just couldn't work with all of it. Too many emotions. It was his reason we were there because he, he pushed me. This was after the assault on the officer and everything too. I wasn't feeling it. So when the officer comes up to me and says, if you say another word, I'm going to arrest you. And I turn around. I was like, okay. And he arrested me. What? No, no. That's like those people that go up and be like, if you, if you don't say anything, I'll give you a thousand dollars. And they'll be like, what's your name? And if you say your name, you lose the game. So why the fuck did you say another word? After you're like, I'm going to arrest you for saying another word. I, I all right, arrested. No, 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 no. That's going to Just give a thumbs up. A thumbs up and a nod. Bar. You have given them too much authority down here in the city of Hot Springs, Arkansas. You've given them too much. So anyway, I feel sorry that I will hurt everybody for trying to kill myself again. And if I wake up, I swear to God, I swear to God, if I wake up on this plane again, oh, immediately I'm going to try again. How many attempts has there been now? She said 15 in the car. I guess this would be number 16. So anyway, um, yeah. Peace out. Have a great day. It's uh, October 13th, 2021. My daughter's ninth birthday, and I haven't seen her in five years. So, Sarah, TLC, I love you so much. So very goddamn much that I just don't even want to be here anymore. I love you so Because that makes a lot of sense. So much. That I leave you with this and these memories because your dad didn't want me around you. For like fucking obvious reasons. If they ever see this, then uh, I think they'll know what's up. Well, Latini did not attempt suicide that day. I don't want people getting worried for her. That's why I put that montage at the beginning. Leticia is suicide baiting and taking herself hostage cannot even be rivaled by a drastia. It never fails to astound me how Leticia can make any problem the fault of others. Latini will lament for literal hours how she is not allowed visitation with her daughter, as if this last video alone would negate anyone ever giving her those rights. Oh, but, but it's not her fault, because trauma. If nothing bad happens that day, she can justify publicly slandering her ex-husband and having a little freak out by just saying that she's traumatized and has to get her emotions out. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what we just saw, uh, yeah. The truth is, she doesn't care. It's all an act. She likes not having any responsibilities and living in a car off her $900 a month. She's a lazy bones. She will complain for literal years before just obtaining the $1,500 for a family lawyer. She will die before getting a job. She likes this lifestyle, using gyms as motels and inconveniencing everyone else who pays to go there. I mean, because then she's the center of attention and people have to listen to her somewhat. If they want to remove her, they just have to listen to a little bit of a bullshit. Did you have to use the restroom? Oops, sorry, occupied. This hobo lady's been in there for 45 minutes vlogging. And before that, she was taking a two hour nap on the floor. Latiti is the worst person in the world. And I mean that. Flip her. Ah, I mean, like, she's up there for sure. I'm sure there's worse people, though. There's, like, some crazy people. ...around with any other bad person. Watch how she's worse. Put Vladimir Putin living in this car. He would have an apartment in a month or two. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, like, she's bad. <laughs> she's bad at what she does, for sure. Okay, I guess I, I don't know. That's what he meant. But put Leticia in control of Russia, and the nukes would have already gone off. She's worse. 
So moving forward. I mean, he makes a good argument there. <laughs> From hell, her answer to every problem in life is to threaten to kill herself or someone else and then scream, but my early childhood trauma, when her behavior gets her in trouble. Letitia forged forward from this event, and we enter what I affectionately call the Darlene era. The fuck it. I don't know who Darlene is. I'm scared, though. Unless she just renamed herself Darlene. This is the time between when she kind of gets over that jail incident and when she, well, gets herself knocked up. She's okay, so she got knocked up again? Ruining everyone else's workout time. So this is as thin as she ever gets. And oh my god, the ego this bitch gets just from dropping 20 more pounds. No spoilers, you have to see it. And I'm going to show it now. She also murders a litter of puppies. So I, did we... Did we see this? I mean, like I think Al, I think we saw Al go over this. But I don't remember, like, I hope it doesn't show that. I don't know. I don't know what we're in for. There's no age restriction on this video, so we should be fine. We should be all right. Not exaggerate. Early <laughs> from Roseanne? Nice. All right. This is the third attempt at trying to make this video today. Every time I start discussing the fact that I'd state that I would murder my ex-husband, it seems to want to cut off at that point so you don't say so this is how many this is i guess about half a month later i haven't tried to murder him in the last five years but it's getting to the point where i'm getting emotionally unstable but like so how many times did you try to murder him before that i would have killed that bitch because that's all he is is a little pussy and he knows it the fact that he ran away and he told everyone to the courts, I feel like I'm being threatened. I That's all you guys. That's you guys in the chat. That's not me. I'm just here. I'm just facilitating. I feel like I need protection, a restraining order this, restraining order that. They don't care. And especially if I call the police, like I did in Missouri. Or, yeah, it was like Springfield, Missouri. And I called the cops on someone for reaching his hand down my pants in the middle of the night. They question me four or five fucking times. Yeah, they're probably going to have a lot of questions. And had me state the entire story over again. Yeah, to make sure you're telling the truth. Make sure maybe you might remember more details if this actually happened and then any evidence if they're going to fucking prosecute this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> uh... If you want me to live that fucking trauma for the rest of my fucking life, ask me 20 times what happened. I said it was four times. And I keep to myself, this morning, I woke up in a man's bed. He started kissing on me. I didn't like it. I was upset after that. How did you end up there in the first place? I feel like I'm starting to see a pattern in your sexual encounters. So upset that I told him my murderous intentions. And I don't really care. Who knows? I want my ex-husband dead. That would be crazy. That'd be crazy. Imagine you hook up with this bitch off of Tinder or some shit. And then the first thing she says when you wake up together the next day is like, I'm going to murder my ex-husband. Okay. That's how it is. I lost 160 pounds. Yes, I look great naked now. But it doesn't matter because I don't want you to touch me. So this pussy ass bitch that stole my kid and told the local authorities that he needed restraining orders because I was murderous, left me with loaded guns. Willingly. What do you mean willingly? I, maybe he just wasn't thinking. Hopefully if he's a responsible gun owner, he has his guns in a safe that you don't have access to like the uh, fucking combination or the key or any of that. I'm hoping. He was so scared that he left me with murder weapons and i noticed yeah those <laughs> that's murder weapons that's uh that's how they're marketed that they were getting new add-ons new porch and everything on their house over there at two smoking weed at this time leticia doxes her daughter's address it's very heather of you all i do is pray for death so regardless of how talented skilled how well i can dance been told i was graceful recently you know it doesn't 
Who the fuck said that this woman was graceful? <laughs> It's the Kermit dance. Guys, it's the hold up. Why are we watching this? Oh, because she said she was graceful. I was like, Adonis wouldn't just put this in here for no fucking reason. Um, I don't. This is some weird dance. She's got like one move. I guess maybe two. She like swings her ass around and then she does the Kermit, and she loves it. just that close you know to just really fuck everybody i'm out the more i get harassed and fondled the more that i get have to interact with other people the more that i just want to go and slit my ex-husband's throat as he's leaving for work one of these days and then they're like well there's a confession ah Yep. There she goes, incriminating herself. <laughs> okay. A cigar or something. There she goes. Good. I would like to incriminate myself. And if anything were to happen, I would hope you'd question me first. Oh, yeah, you can count on that. You've seen to that. If your husband has a bad-looking accident at this point, they're going to come looking for your ass. Donis, did you like the little cigar thing? The like caption over it was like, she's kind of cute here. She's almost a little cute and clever and funny. I don't know if he added this. If you did, Adonis, this is... I wouldn't call this cute. I call this just crazy. There she goes, incriminating herself. Meh, meh, meh. That's, just, that's just fucking Peter Griffin from Family Guy. A little cigar or something. Meh, there she goes. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it, but I will. <laughs> Seen to that. If your husband has a bad looking accident at this point, they're going to come looking for your ass. Anyway, most people are frightened by me. They think, oh my God, she's gone through so much trauma. She truly means those words that she states, and she could truly go and do them because I'm very capable, very adept, very knowledgeable. One time, I sliced into this finger here. You can't really see it on that side. There's a tiny scar right here on the tip, right there. I actually do a lot of research on my own. I, I watch a lot of informative videos because I have nothing else better to do with my time. But I'm actually more likely to slip my wrists by the end of a workday than a normal person. I think due to your lack of experience in this arena, you have no idea how much the average person wants to slit their wrists at the end of a workday. Because of the... Um, I mean, yeah, she doesn't work. ...amount of suicide attempts that I've had in the past. When I click my heels, I know it's coming. I know I'm going to end up harming myself. And it's just like... Maybe just don't click your heels then. That's the worst part about it, is that people don't even realize I harm myself because I can't harm you. <laughs> well, that's uh, reasonable. Just like when I had my bout bouts of promiscuity at the end of my marriage and everything, because I had already been assaulted during my marriage. Of course, that all of it, sexually and physically. I mean, Saturdays and Sundays don't count, Skiskelton. All right, those are her days off. 
from baiting self deletion. <laughs> I made spaghetti at somebody's house. And then I had it like I put it in the bag for storage so I didn't have to take his Tupperware. All right. So this is seven days later, six days later. I'm not sure why. Eight minus two is six, guys. People in the world hate me in particular so much. I think that it's when I'm in my headspace and I don't acknowledge them. So. Uh, yeah, that's why people hate you. Not all the other shit, the fucking false grief allegations, you killing puppies that are coming up soon, and um, all the other shit you said about murdering people, like, you know, self-delete, on God's birthday. None of those reasons, just when you don't acknowledge them and you're in your headspace. Yeah, I, I went to yoga right now, and it was an evening class, and they don't have, at this time very many evening courses for yoga so it's usually like packed during some of those later hours i get singled out a lot of times when people find out that i'm actually hyper intelligent and i go around just sad and everything and that everybody presumes that i'm just a prissy little bitch faced cunt the yoga instructor allowed 13 people into the tiny space and the it's only allowed to have six people in that space during yoga classes and i had set my mat there prior i was what the fuck does that have to do with anything here um about 20 minutes prior to class starting so i made sure that i had one of the open availabilities but as it got packed she just allowed everyone to come in two weeks ago when that same instructor was holding a class in the larger room which was a studio room so by the time I'd gotten in there, they had already filled up the spaces and had a couple occup you know, more occupancies taken that weren't supposed to be. But I was turned away. Because it was full? But she's just mad that like other people got let in the smaller room? What does that have to do with anything? What the fuck? So I realized there's nothing special about me. The more and more I tell them about the honor. I, that's weird that it took that to realize she wasn't special. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honest and bitter truth about my pedophilic father and all of these different things and my mother hating me and I have no family. People hate that. Hey, yeah, no, I don't think people like hearing that shit when they're trying to do yoga. Lady, not everybody working out at the gym signed up to come in there and be your therapist. Well, especially in yoga, Adonis, because you're supposed to be like relaxed and centering your chi. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm a perfect father. Maybe you shouldn't lead off with all of your problems from age 12 to present. Yeah, exactly. I keep walking in and out of these damn Kroger's and they keep asking me for money for, for kids that are suicidal. And all I want to do is go up with, and ask them, how did you help me? How did you help me when I was a child? Like at one point when I was leaving the hospital, when I went to the hospital, I wasn't feeling well and told them I needed to see them because I wasn't feeling right. They told me they seen me and they didn't do anything. And I said, I don't know where I'm going. I don't have my car. I don't have my keys. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. They said, you have to get off the premises. And I went and tried to lay down in their, um, their waiting room. Police have a waiting room. And they had the officer come to me and tell me that if I didn't leave the premises, he would arrest me. Well, that's the same hospital system that fired me when the male doctor, when I refused to let the male doctor look at my vagina. And he was like, if I can't see it, no one can. Yeah, that's exactly what he said, I'm sure. Bullshit. Bull. Shit, there's something you're not telling us here. Who was your doctor, Colonel Potter in 1955? A doctor is a doctor, not a date. Now, you either trust me or you don't. Because if you insist on a nurse being in here for your examination, she's going to have to take her dress off too. I said, where do you want me to go? I don't have any home. I don't know where to go. And I just, and he said, well, you can't stay here. You gotta, you gotta walk away. It's closing time, guys. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. That's what happened. So that's how they treat people. Like there's no humanity. It didn't matter. I'm just a number, and I'm just, I'm just some ugly face for them to want to kill later. So, and I sure as fuck am not just gonna waste my time. I literally have to fight digging for that razor blade every damn night. But then I smoke weed. 
and I'm cool, and I'm like, okay, I can manage. But what's the point? Might as well just take everything from me and just let me slice my wrists and just call it a day. Well, oh, this one's out. This one's over with. What do we have to live for? What are you going to hype us up and tell us, well, you can just get a job? That'll, no, make me sad. Make me. <laughs> That'll make me sad. I mean, it's going to be better than this, though, right? Then you at least you wouldn't have to live out of a car around all these rapists, right? Completely sad and working for the man and trying to make money every day to try to help myself. No, I'm out. Nah, she's not a weed fairy. She's like a weed gremlin. She like fucking steals weed from the weed fairies and smokes it. And then she's still on her BS. I don't know what the fuck she's. Well, I don't know why she's like this. Completely out of energy, out of sanity. If I have to sit here and think about how I'm going to relay these coupons and this money and how I'm going to keep continuing on. If any more days happen like this, I swear to God, you're going to see me hanging from a noose one of these fucking days and in front of everybody i'm not even fucking joking i want to traumatize as many goddamn people as i fucking can with my suicide what she she's not allowed all right she's a how could they let this crazy person out i called the police i called because i needed your help because these people just assaulted me and you didn't do anything about it so instead i went to jail for stepping foot on their property and now they the ignorant ones think that they rule the world no they just rule their property and you can't go on it and that's the law same as like people can't go on your property but you don't own any property because you like you're fucking insane no thank you kiss my frozen dead ass when you find me one of these days my thoughts on uh, yeah, this is where she takes a crap on camera. While well, I think she was like dissing Owl, I think in this one or somebody. There's here in Hot Springs, literally taking a dump right now. This is my thoughts of you people. <laughs> Actually, society in general. Yeah, this is what I think of your help. <laughs> in the city of Hot Springs as a whole. And everyone that I've encountered in my life pretty much. Yeah. Now I gotta wipe. And we got some eighties music going on in the background this time or seventies. I think it's more eighties. The way that all this is transpiring in my life, being homeless, seeking help, taking dumps at random locations. Where? <laughs> Where is this? this was, at least it's not like out in the street. It's like an actual toilet. But I wonder if this is like just some random executive office. Because I don't have a home. That's why all of this is shit. All of it. Just shit. You people, the United States of America, the way that you've allowed Hot Springs, Arkansas to run over people and their meth labs everywhere and you don't help the actual people that need help that are good people. I've never listened to Janet Jackson, but if that's what this is. Where is she from the 80s? That is messed up. Y'all will get your karma. Y'all will end up worse than me. And that's just how it is, too. You may not even get it in this plane, but just you wait and see. Your souls are fucking marked. I went out to dinner last night. With I mean, I guess that was... Uh... That was it for the toilet video. Now she's going out for dinner. I think I figured you meant then. Um, <laughs> with a guy, and and I don't know. I don't know why men love crazy people. Women love crazy people too. Look at like Dylan and Marissa. Why does Marissa stay with Dylan? Dylan's fucking crazy. You know, maybe Marissa's crazy, but Dylan seems crazier. I don't know why Xavier is with fucking Heather. I really don't know why Xavier's with Heather. That blows my fucking mind. Um. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. We had a wonderful time. He was very uh, interested in what I was talking about. Ooh, he wanted to spend more time with me. And I decided that, uh, not decided so much as the physiology of my body was going sort of haywire because I was ovulating that day. 
And of course I wanted very badly just to be comforted. This is what I mean when I say she has some like inbred Catholic guilt or something. Why can't she say she just got horny and got went out and got laid? She has to invent this whole story about how she was ovulating. And oh, by the way, mark this down as yet another time <clears throat> every month that she blames her bad behavior on her ovulation. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just out of control. She's not, she's, she can't think with her head, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm, thir I'm in my 30s. So I, mean, I should know Michael Janet Jackson. I remember Janet Jackson was on TV sometimes. I just didn't listen to her. I was off doing other things. And so I went on this date. We had a lovely time. We went to a decent restaurant here and I wore a dress and leggings and heels and stuff. And we um, managed to go back to his hotel. And of course, I, I was having a great time talking with him and his personality and we were having a wonderful time. And I told him, I said, well, I feel like I want to cuddle you. So of course we started cuddling and one thing led to another. And I am so shameful today just for that. I always feel terrible when I act on my primal instincts and I just want to self-soothe. And sometimes I use people or utilize, utilize what's in, in front of me or around me so that I can satiate whatever craving I have. I don't feel all that great today though. I mean, my conscience is eating away at me because having unprotected sex is never good, never good. That's how I ended up contracting the HPV from that dude. Oh, that's not good either. Um, you should probably have protected sex from this point out. What the fuck are you doing, man? So she's giving people fucking STDs as well? Uh, mama mia. So it's always a forewarning to people. I feel like my life is sort of one of those. And I know that my daughter's not going to see these until later on in her life. So it doesn't matter how old she is. After a certain point, children should be exposed to the sexual aspect of their psychology. So my lustfulness that I used to have and um, bouts of like masturbation, uh, incessant masturbation throughout. Bouts of incessant masturbation. What? Just, the day. just smoke weed. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, because I had nothing really else to do aside from trying to satiate. Get a fucking job. My cravings for like alleviating the stress, alleviating the stress at any cost. I shouldn't be doing things with strangers like that. People tell me you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get hurt. I'm very sore today. <laughs> like, it sounds terrible. It sounds so bad. I can't, I can't even. There have been instances where I've gotten told that, oh, you know, yada, yada you can't return this item. And I was like, no, I'm gonna let the corporate office know that you're rejecting my request. And that's just how it should be. You should understand that your products have a guarantee, regardless even if I use the entire product. Why would you use the entire product if it was fucked up? Maybe I had to use it to the very end to let you know that I hate it. I don't think that's how shit works, bro. And I will never purchase it again. And it was un it was not useful to me in, in the slightest. That's why I used it all. That's why I used all the product before I realized it's not fucking useful to me. But since I'm a disabled citizen and I have nothing else better to do with my life, I just sit around in my car and I chill here and there and just try to be avoidant of other human contact and just live as obscurely as possible as a shadow person and to also gradually express myself as tra transparently as possible people apparently admire that about me that i am so transparent and i'll just tell them hey you know i'm not having a good day like i can't function i can't think about you right now i've got to think about myself and not hurting myself by the end of the day who the fuck is telling her that they like to hear that? I know. I know I'm not going to sit, sit around and go and jump in everybody's bed. Like, it's not like that. I was just, it was 
Mm -hmm. I gave ovulation. I was overly affectionate and that cuddling released that oxytocin. I'm not necessarily a slut. So he says, uh, yeah, you kind of are every week we hear about another man that you've been on a dating app with and slept with for a safe place to stay, even though she has the car, including today and the week that you got pregnant where you sought out four men and had unprotected sex with all of them. Whoa. just a man doing what average men do then it should be the same for a woman doing what a women need to do too and they got to release their frustration on someone else you know I that's not that's not how it works though <laughs> i could explain the biological or evolutionary reasons why it's celebrated for men to be promiscuous and considered a negative for women but i think all of that is overshadowed by the fact that she's pregnant homeless and living in a car right now you're the one with the uterus. You will ultimately pay the price. It would behoove you to take these things seriously and not just lament the double standard. <laughs> through, through that. Um, but people call me crazy. Okay. Whatevs. Like I tell them, whatevs. We'll see how you are doing every day and this and this and this. Let me pinpoint what your activities are throughout the day and how you manage your time and this and this and this and how your years have progressed and what you've done in your life. And let me add that up and let me just jot these down. Here's your prescription to crazy because a majority of everyone's got some crazy in them. And then everybody tells, oh, you should get a job. Well, you should for real. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What what could she do as a job? What do you guys think she could do as a job? You have not even fucking seen aggressive. You want to see Leticia aggressive? Let me fucking show you. Yeah, <laughs> people are like you're crazy. No, bitch, you don't get me. You don't hear me, and you're not taking the fact that my voice is a certain way, and this is me being condescending and angry. I mean, I could have guessed. Well, that was an interesting look into the mind of the worst ex-wife you could ever want. But Latiti is no mere psycho ex-wife and transient homosexual who cruises the Bumble dating app using men for places to stay. All right, I'm going to let Adonis take over for a second while I grab another drink. Because I need another drink. She has big goals, my friends. Leticia is going to also add being the world's worst baby mama to her resume of achievements. Now it's time to get into why some of the scenes before were tinted blue. Leticia claims that she's been raped by her brother in her sleep. She called the cops on a man recently for putting his hands down her pants in her sleep. Her father, yep, in her sleep. Her husband, marital rape, yep, in her sleep. She also claims to have already been raped by two military members, yes, both in her sleep. Now some of her rantings are kind of red flags. Keep in mind that when we get to our next set of videos, this woman has expressed every month since August when she was on her period or ovulate. Going so far to explain that she gets uncontrollably horny and is not responsible for her behavior when she ovulates. She is very familiar with what she calls her minces. So we get to the week of November 29th and she starts her period. Which is strange because on October the 12th she was screaming at the top of her lungs at a cop, I'm on my mentis! And on November the 12th, she just had that whole rant we just heard about ovulating and that's why she went and slept with some rando from Bumble. Why is she suddenly having her period on November 29th, like two weeks early? I, I don't know. Again, I'm a guy. Maybe it's normal. But these are some weird inconsistencies considering we're about to get to a fake story about her getting pregnant. Another thing to keep in mind, she has expressed hundreds and hundreds of times that she refuses to work and just wants to be taken care of and have someone else pay for her lifestyle. She has mentioned military men many times as well, and most importantly, her obsession on being touched in her sleep. She also claims that, quote, a couple of military members have raped her before, again, in her sleep. This is all very relevant to what we're about to watch, and if she's telling the truth, the choices that she made. Now, whether those stories from her childhood are true, and this is a real complex for her, or fake and invented, because she's just looking for reasons to be insane and crazy, her being touched in her sleep has become a common thread in all of her sexual encounters. 
And what is also a common thread in all of her sexual encounters? Regret and guilt, also in blue. Either a Catholic guilt, or real sexual trauma, or just the guilt of knowing she's sleeping with random men without a condom causes it, but she always expresses guilt and regret. Keep these things in mind when you see the portions tinted blue. And feel free to go back and watch later like Fight Club to see the whole story. Lately, her sex life tends to kind of repeat itself. She comes over, pretends to be a prude, so the man... He's still going. That's crazy. <laughs> ...thinks she's a good girl and treats her real nice, says she wants to cuddle in his bed, since she's a professional cuddler, and then gets into a strange man's bed after a date, snuggles up with him, and what do you think happens next? Well, I take you now to December the 2nd, where a tragic event has taken place the night before. Yeah, she didn't like the cuddle app. She got mad about it. Waking up. Let's see what day is it? December 2nd, 2021. She always starts so low. Like, the volume's almost at max, and then she's gonna go, what? And then I have to pump it down. I wish I could do that for you guys. It's not gonna... I need, like, a a double mixer. I thought I had another safe place to sleep last night. In actuality, it was just somebody that was trying to get super laid. I was physically attracted to him, so it got too physical. Okay, so I think we have we heard our go over this one too, but we only saw like snippets in that one, so like. If it, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll play by here. Because I had sort of allowed him to just be violent at some point. Not really violent. I thought he was being playful. So I just realized now that essentially I was raped. How do you not know it's like violent at the time of it happening? Hey, Latiti, sorry to interrupt. I don't want to be insensitive, but rape is a crime we send men to prison to go live in a cage and get raped themselves for a very, very long time if they commit. So, uh... We need to know if it was essentially you got raped. Or if, like, it actually, <laughs> yeah. Or you actually got raped. I just sort of at 6 o'clock in the morning just didn't give a fuck, wanted him to get his attention away from me. Why? So that, usually if you want someone's attention away from you, you don't fuck them. Why should I give a shit about other people? They don't give a shit about me. Like... Fuck. Oh, is it this a dun 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 song? I like me. this song. Then left me sleeping on the couch as he went over to his bed in the other room to go to sleep. And then I left. I spent an hour sleeping, if that. And then I got up and I was like, I, I gotta fucking get out of here. So I drove to the nearest safe place that I thought or whatever. Like when it hit 5 a.m., I realized like I'm not having a very good time. See, this is what this is. Even though we've seen bits of this already, like the music makes it hit differently. We're getting more context. It's like I like it. If he's going to keep me awake at night. When I told him, I said, you know, when I was going to change, I was going to brush and floss my teeth. And he was like, well, just brush your teeth so that we could make out a little bit because, you know, I want that fucking all that shit in between your teeth. <laughs> want to make out and get that for you before you fucking floss. Does that make any sense? I'm in the Air Force, and so I don't want that marijuana. I don't want the chance that it might, you know, I might get a secondhand whatever. That's, no, that's not how that works. For making out with me. Physically, like, int physical intimacy is something I'm not really familiar with anymore. Huh. You wouldn't expect to hear a woman say that who just told you a story about getting fucked by a rando off Bumble. Adonis, what about the, the weed? Isn't that fucking crazier? That's some crazy shit. So, and he was very attractive physically, so I sort of, I allowed him to fucking rape me. I allowed him to fucking rape me. See, those two things, <laughs> they, con they contradict each other. You can't really say that. That's like saying, like, um... I'm a virgin who's fucked 10 people. It doesn't, it's an oxymoron. It doesn't make sense. <clears throat> I just want to make sure I have your story straight. This guy was good looking. So you allowed him to rape you. That doesn't sound like rape, ma'am. 
And that's and that's what exactly what it was. Now that guy's trying to message me. No, thank you. No fucking thank you. I I had a nightmare just now as I was laying here waking up from all of this and trying to get some good sleep because he left me on this fucking raggedy ass hard futon thing with like it was not comfortable i felt like a fucking animal you know all of this energy i i can't handle it i i literally when i was telling him i wanted to go before this happened last night i told him like i was like i just can't handle this and in my head i was like i just need to go slip my fucking wrist this dude is not listening to me he doesn't give a shit about me personally and that's a bunch of bullshit because we did have we saw the text messages al showed us them um where he basically did whatever the fuck she asked and when she dipped she wasn't like no 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 you have to say or do anything like he was just like okay like i'm not gonna pry or anything um i don't know how the fuck she finds guys like that you know he does this type of rapey ass shit to all the women to all the women that oh my goodness i have to straight up just call you out like that was not okay i I don't want to be any part of that i thought that we were getting along well until all that happened and even afterward like regret my body hurts i don't want to be anywhere near anyone i i know you know and then when if you try to file a report against these types of people it never processes anyway nothing happens to them it's like a slap on the wrist you got mad when they were asking you questions though and of course i enjoy it in the moment because i don't get that physical intimacy that sex very often but that doesn't mean that afterward when i rationalize when all of this is rationalized my fucking life is rationalized none of it makes any goddamn sense you're just describing regret though you're not describing like in the moment you say no and not giving consent and then them doing it anyways. That's I don't think she knows what the definition of rape is. Or, I mean, great. I've been really good at not saying that fuck. There, see, Adonis has got us. <laughs> so he added a little flair at the end. Like, you cannot put men in prison because you are a self-hating slut. <laughs> there you go. And yeah, I'm going to end up posting this video because I'm just, I'm out. I'm out. That check, please. He, I mean, try to message me right now. Try to call me right now. But no thanks. Like, in the morning you're going to fucking do that? No. That's that's exactly how accidental babies are made. All the By texting in the morning, yeah. The shit didn't bother, didn't bother to fucking pull out. Nope. Nope. You're a Taurus. I'm a Leo. We should have gotten along decently. Back at the music. You're a Taurus. I'm a Leo. But still bumped head. She's a Taurus? For things, but still. Not, no. No. She's a fucking Ford Taurus. I like Tauruses, though. Or is a Taurus. I'm fucking, I'm date raped. Fucking, not t- not technically. Date rape is actually when they roof you. But when, uh-uh couple six sips of beer like i already knew my fucking mind wasn't right we were trying to play monopoly got a few uh rolls into it and whatever before he just sort of like wanted to plow me and then i get blamed and shamed for being a victim because i was i was feeling it uh yeah i can see why women shame you rape victims aren't feeling it in the moment you idiot but at that moment it didn't matter if you raped and fucking killed me I just want to fucking die. I just want to die. Fuck you people. All you want to do is fuck me and that's it. And leave me left for dead. Shot. Wasted. You will hear her refer to this story again in the future. And she constantly says that this guy left her for dead. Like in Grand Theft Auto when you leave your buddy behind during the big mission. By leaving her on his futon in his living room. Fuck my life. I mean, that can happen in Grand Theft Auto too. You're just chilling at their apartment and they leave you there. Life. And who the fuck cares if I get raped here and there or, or dates? Those were dates. I chose that. I chose to be around these people. And it's usually people from the fucking military and authoritative positions that do this type of shit. Or does it? I wonder if she just thinks they have like a lot of money. 
I wonder why she's attracted to those. Or maybe they just make good marks because, um, well, hmm, maybe because military people have probably gone through a lot of shit and they haven't been able to have that time to develop relationships or at least proper ones. So they like get stuck with someone like the city. That would really suck. And that's really sad if that's the case. Already getting ahead of the criticism, huh? Good move. Nobody ever wants to catch on to them, though. They'll continue to fucking do what they want to with what other women and whatever. Fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Like she's getting sad at her own made up story. <laughs> Wasted. My body was destroyed through having a child that I don't get to fucking see. Yeah, I know I've been used. I know I've been had. I know I've been shot in the back. Actually, this dude shot me in the f But like, why would a person in the military be attracted to someone like Latiti? You know what I'm saying, Kenny? Hey, so it was even better. Like, I knew it was coming. I knew to brace myself. You just said he came inside you without a condom. Not that he blasted you in the face like a Jackson Pollock. Now, usually inconsistencies like this wouldn't be a big deal, you know, unless it's a story where you end up accusing two different men of rape and then getting... Or maybe he came twice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to give Latidia now. Being pregnant. Have a wonderful fucking day, everyone. I'm having a great one, apparently. Even those sensations for those few moments, those fleeting moments of intimacy and, like, arousal and... But I didn't even get to go. I had asked him, I was like, well, if we're in this position, let me at least get my... Nope wasn't important to him. What a tragic tale. So we need to make sure we get everything straight here because this is a tale about a terrible crime. This is apparently a Marine that she will refer to as Tom. Okay, so we have heard, I think I'll go over this in the other ones. I just basically want the raw video of Latiti. So we're gonna skip a little bit ahead because double commentary, I don't know. That just seems like a, a time filler. If you want, Adonis is a fucking amazing, funny guy. You should check these videos out um, if you want to see it all. I am just trying to get everything. <laughs> so my events as of late today is... And this is what? Three or yeah, three days after the last video that we just saw. December 6th. It's Sunday. I was invited out to like Bentonville area. One of the people invited me out there. And he said that it would be safe that I would. I mean, like when her hair looks like this, she almost looks normal. Almost. Would have a nice place to crash and that he would even leave if, if I felt uncomfortable with him. And he would joke around texting me and saying things like, oh, can I grab your goodies? And I was laughing. And I guess that's like the wrong thing to do with someone that's a real predator, an actual predator. And I noticed that he had like military photos, whatever, Marines, whatever he was, military, something on his uh, profile. We met up at a grocery store. And he came up and like hugged me, so I, I accepted of it. I accepted of the hug, all right. But then as we were walking and stuff, he like slapped me on the butt, and I was like, uh, okay, like not okay. And she didn't know she left right then and there. You're out in public, you get every opportunity to. I don't know, why didn't you? So he bought me some dinner, and then we went over to the Airbnb that he had. Have a good night, April. Thank you for um, informing us because I don't know all this stuff. Latiti's pretty fresh to me. Uh, so I appreciate you and uh, your input. And yeah, I'm going to keep going here. Uh, offered to rent for me to stay in. And we hung out there for a little bit. And I it was getting late because we had met up pretty late. It was dinner time and stuff. So I started getting ready for bed brushing my teeth and everything and at during different instances he had pulled me toward him like after we had eaten dinner he wanted me to kiss him and stuff and I was pulling away and like didn't expect anything weird was going to come from it or, or anything like that and uh, I thought he would be more honorable than he was more of a gentleman 
but apparently they don't understand that terminology, uh, especially the men that get all uh, get out of the military. But I enjoy physical touch too, so it's sort of. Um, I like how he's putting red flags in when the red flags come up. Uh, incapacitating when I am touched certain areas, certain feelings, and and you know if they're being. This is like some crazy cinematic music too. Sexual toward me, I can't really help it. Sometimes I flirt back, but don't don't really mean to. And when I say no, like they don't take it as no. Of course, in the middle of the night, on the night that we had first met, and I had told him, "Let's spoon a little bit. That's okay." And he, uh, um, woke me up in the middle. She had to really think about that for a second. I think she's about to lie. An interrogator would say that. Like, they take long ass pauses. Or you're like, ur, 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 then uh, probably thinking of a lie. The night, and I was not really that coherent. And he started like rubbing on me and stuff and like grabbing at me and uh, pulling my hand toward his phallic, you know. And of course, I should jump up and leave those instances. But we're going to hear some bullshit reason as to why she's not going to. But then at the same time, I'm hyper aroused too. And what do I have to live for? Nothing. I have nothing to live for. So when he offered his gestures, I pulled away. Like I was pulling away. I told him, I was like, no, no, we just meant like, no, thank you. And like, he didn't care. He was still trying to pull my pants off. Well, I thought I was smart by tying it in a knot or whatever, but it was. How, what? How do you tie your pants in a knot? It's just a single knot, which was my fault. So he s easily pulled that down. The drawstring? Like, is you wearing track pants or something? And managed from behind to just penetrate me. So now I was raped again. And, and I'm just going to smile about it because then that means I get like these donations. I'm like, oh, okay, well, this happens because the military military men that are retired and everything, they go about doing their business. If I call rape on him, it's just pretty much a destruction of my emotional stability in my day trying to make a report when everybody asks me a million goddamn times. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, then why the fuck did you go with the military guy when he's seen he was military? By your own logic, that makes no sense. Came out more like, what happened? What happened? Well, let me tell you what happened. And I'll post it for everyone to see in here because there's no reason for me to file reports anymore that go nowhere. I was very upset. And I told him, I was like, I didn't want to do that. Like, I, I told you no. I told you to stop. And after he had finished himself, you know, like, ejaculated on me, right? Uh, he says to me, he's like, oh, you're making me... But Jenny doesn't have a bingo card yet. I think the bingo card would be too dark because it's like, yeah, it's just really, it's just a lot of dark shit all the time. You feel bad. That's the first key sign that you're dealing with a fucking narcissist and more than likely a psychopath. Now, you see, I would think a violent sexual assault in the middle of the night would be the first sign, but what do I know? I'm just a guy. I was flirting back. He was grabbing me. He was holding me and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, no, no. I'm going to shower real quick. I'm gross. Like, I'm going to brush my teeth real quick. And I'm going to go to go to sleep because I just got done driving all day. So I think that that's, like, one of my issues, too, is, like, not recognizing. I knew from the moment and I had met him that there was something odd about him and that there was something odd about his manner mannerisms and what he was saying to me. And the uh, he should have known that about you. Because <laughs> the way that he was approaching me and touching me in such a manner. After everything is said and done, I just got fucking raped. And then in the morning too, when we were waking up and he was like engaging again, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to let you do this because... I'm going to enjoy it myself for a moment. Have we heard this story? <laughs> I was just going to say, we have heard this story before. Before? I feel like we just heard this story before. Y yeah. Yeah, it's the same fucking story. From yesterday. I mean, I already got fucked with last night. That's She's tweaking it a bit. It's like, I don't know, round two. Not okay. My whole mindset's messed up. And I'm just hormonal now from actually 
having been penetrated in that way. <laughs> yes, it wasn't your fault you engaged in consensual sex. It was just your hormones. We've never heard that before, except for literally every month when you ovulate. We engaged and he had said, I told him though, prior to us even getting physical, I said, well, you don't want to have sex with me because I don't take birth control. And I was like, and then I ovulate in a few days. And he was like, well, you know, it doesn't, you know, whatever doesn't matter. So yeah, from that moment, I was like, I'm in danger. Ooh, so leave. Ooh, Latiti, hate to bother you again, but uh, that's not exactly true. You see, if I go through your text messages that you released, which you thought would somehow prove you right about this, uh, he did offer to buy condoms. And you said very specifically, I don't use condoms. It's all right. I'll go get one. She also says she'd go get one, though. That's a weird... What? Not, I don't think I should use... Oh, maybe plan B. Pills. More pills. I'll go get one. I see what she says. She's a condom with you. Not, no, that's okay. You seem to be clean. Nothing like that. Definitively, you don't use condoms. You fucking Petri dish. So he ended up ejaculating in me this morning. And I was actually very, very frightened and upset about the whole situation. And I had not this morning. The day prior to this morning. And then I didn't really get much of a like emotional sort of backing on what he had done. And I had asked him, I said, before we had en engaged, I was like, are you going to buy me a morning after pill for like, because I don't take birth control and, you know, I ovulate in a few days. You said you would buy the pill. And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy you one. Then he left. Then he messaged me and said, I think he already, he also gave you $50 for one. He just didn't buy it, I think. Did you go and pick one up? And I was like, no, like, I don't have the money for that. I'm a homeless person. I, I barely have enough money to sustain my food intake and everything and all my bills. Hey, Latiti, sorry to interrupt you again. I'm really starting to think you didn't. Yeah, see, are we done having sex? Just making sure because I'm not buying more pills. If so, I can use a condom or I'll buy some as I don't use condoms. I'll go get it. So, yeah, that's. My life is fucked and it doesn't matter because even in, like I said, if I filed a report, they wouldn't do anything about it. Well, who's going to do shit about it? Uh, uh, you know, this dude exists. He's going to invite other people here and there. I told him I got pissed. I was like, you know what? Like you can have the rest of the days for the, you know, your room, but you have your couple nights for, so you, you can bring over your other hose or whatever. Like bring over your other hose or whatever you do. You don't make a, a woman. Got like some Batman music in the background. To deal with that emotional trauma, like from that sexual encounter, like it's literally going to eat away at me psychologically for the next God knows how long, for at least the next two weeks until I make <laughs> At least two weeks, guys. And then, I don't know, I mean, I'll probably forget a bit. I'll have some, all the new persons with kids of all this shit in two weeks from now. Sure, or what? Two, three weeks until I get my period again. And... I'll never probably hear from that dude again. Like, and I'm just like, okay, fine. So I just fucking flipped out on him on a couple messages, told him he was a piece of shit. And like, not in that way, not in that phrasing, because I'm a little bit more eloquent than that. I doubt it. But I told him, I was like, you're evil. You're just evil. You're a special kind of evil. If you can invite a woman up, and I understand if you're super aroused, you're super interested in her, whatever, I get that. But then to not even comment to her afterward, not even express yourself, not even communicate or 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 to tell that person, like, I appreciate that you allowed me into your body or anything like, no, that's not OK. This is my body. By the time I'm like, whoop, my pants get ripped off me. I'm thinking, oh, shit, this is not good, but it might feel good. So I don't know. Like, so I'm confused emotionally and physiologically because, of course, my raging hormones and of the fact that you're on a fucking dating app where you met these people of course like around that time of ovulation especially don't be a nun like if you really don't want if you're so opposed to fucking sex and shit go be a nun and you can have you can be in your gang of nuns and they all look out for each other and shit and you live in the church and all that or whatever you know just do that did your menses do this to you when I'm like, please, like, yeah, let's get at it. But then it's just my body talking and not my mind. Like, why do you keep treat? Why do people treat me like that? Is it because I have shitty hair? Penises are not love. 
But then at first I thought, like, no, this is how they express their love because they can't help but they're fucking stupid animals. I am 34 years old and I just got raped by some fucking dude named so and so, Jason, 37. And I'm thinking, like, is that even your fuck? Jason, 37. Doesn't sound like a real name. Fucking real name? Like, is that how you go around just doing this shit to people? I'm Jason, 37, and I like to grape people. That's. I'm sure that was in his profile. Like, I don't even fucking know anymore. I just want to die. I literally want to go park my car right now and just start carving at my fucking wrists. And it's like, and I told him, I was like, thanks for starting up another suicide attempt. Like, I really needed to get fucked right before. And then if I end up finding out I'm pregnant, like, great. You know, I noticed you keep talking about getting pregnant. Almost like you're hyper aware that you can get pregnant during ovulation. One might wonder why you continue to have unprotected sex with all these men this week that all happen to be in the military and in a position to take care of you. That's valid point, yeah. Great with some asshole that didn't want to buy me a fucking morning after pill. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, here's my 30 minute video about how I got raped again a couple days ago. And I'm just now trying to get my story in that situation. Like, okay, fuck it happened. I'm an idiot. Like, I'm not an idiot. It wasn't me. And I know damn well it wasn't me. What do you mean? What? I don't know what she means by that. The world does not love Leticia Servan Collins. Does not love it. All I can think about is just like... She just called herself a nit. Driving straight into fucking oncoming traffic on the fucking highway. I mean, and of course, when it was like in the process, I enjoyed it. It would have been nice if we were in a relationship. That's different. That's completely different. But we're not. Okay. It, w it wouldn't have been great if they're in a relationship. I don't know. Okay. Ah, so it makes that me makes me think it definitely, definitely wasn't great then. Very sad. So afterwards, I'm depressed for having done it and just suicidal from that. Anywho. Good luck for Anywho. that. Good luck with that, right, buddies? That's why I tell them all the time, like, good luck, whatever you do. Like, you totally just fucking ripped me apart, but um, okay. And then the moment I try to speak up and shit like that, like, I'm afraid. Why why should I have to be the one to approach cops? Every time I try to approach cops, they make me out to be the problem. Because you're trying to charge multiple men with rape, and what you're describing is not rape. Yeah. So here I am, 34 years old. Just having been raped, sitting in my car, homeless, sitting outside of an anytime fitness. And I just want to start cutting on my veins again. Like that box cutter uh, that is like hidden in the back of my car just for like just in case. D just in case I want to uh, self-delete faking psychosis award. Um, mm. Achievement unlocked. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> anyway, totally normal behavior. And I should have known that that asshole was going to force himself on me because he made the comment that he didn't believe in post-traumatic stress because everybody has it in some form or another. So even when after they get pussy from me, they just don't give a fuck, don't want to message me back, that makes them fucking rapists. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, tell them, Adonis. That means you got ghosted. That makes them douchebags and assholes, but it's a far sight from rape. They're they didn't even ghost her. They were just, just like, she was, I don't want to be part of the same with I There's also another explanation that I would like to forward, Letitia, and that is you do clean up nice. For instance, when a man goes- What the fuck are you talking about, Donis? Goes home with this and wakes up next to this. He may not call you the next day. And yes, these photos were taken within 24 hours of each other. They both look like a... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to be too mean. I won't be mean, guys. Immediately, that is, is exactly what the fuck that makes it. Because if they went and got pleasured from that after, you know, no. That's fucking rape. And people need to start speaking up about it. Just because I don't inform the authorities doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Now, you know what? I agree with that. Just because Latiti doesn't inform the authorities does not mean that a real rape victim shouldn't. So let's get this story straight. This is Jason, rapist number two, in two days. 
out of four men she slept with this week while she's ovulating. While she's been telling us for months how hyper aware she is about her period and ovulation. Also a man she met on Bumble so she could get a free place to stay and food and gas money from a stranger. Oh, and spend the night with him. But she never intended on having sex. Is Bumble like, why aren't they on Tinder? I guess it's like when no one swipes, I don't know which way you swipe on Tinder because I don't use the fucking dating apps. But like um, uh, when people don't swipe the right way on you on that, you just go to Bumble. Is that what it is? Because James is like on Bumble and stuff. People must know. Do people just not background check people on Bumble? I don't fucking know. That, no. So he smacks that ass five minutes in after meeting her and she giggles and goes back to his Airbnb where he got a room for a few days. I assume this room was like 25 bucks a night, and he was just like, I'll put a bill on this hoe and call it a day. Help the, help the broad out. Why not? And this is a guy who's got his own home and life and job and possibly even kids, according to social media. I don't dig into whose kids are in the photos, and I'm not going to. He looks like a cool weekend dad or maybe a cool. Nice. Cool weekend dad. Let's get to <laughs> more clips because I cannot. Okay, this is a text message. Jason, I'm not sure I feel comfortable having sex with young women in the other bedroom. Okay, we read this on uh, Owls before. It was really weird, but she's basically just like, oh, I love fucking, you know. What? Oops. Oh, that's not a video. Yeah, so I don't... The last time we went through text messages... A board. <laughs> Keep things moving here. This is the ninth. This is like she was busy in fucking December. I'm sitting around with my guilt and recognizing that what had been done to me last week with those two men that had raped me, that that wasn't okay. So I decided to go into the emergency room because at first I was going to go to the convenient care clinic here in Hot Springs. And I told them about it. And they said, you have to go to the emergency room. Okay. And I actually wrote it down on a text a notepad message because I didn't want to say it out loud that I'd been raped by two people last week. And that. So she wrote it down a piece of paper and then she like slid it across the table like they do in their shows when they want to. They're like, I'll buy the company. How much are you going to buy for it? Like, wrote down a number, slid it across. That's what she did. But like. I was great. And I suffer from PTSD, and it's hard enough for me to tell people about what had happened in my situation. I went to tell someone about my rape, and they couldn't do anything about it because the rooms were taken so long. So I sat there for two hours, and I just got sick of it. I was like, fuck it. I'll just live with the guilt and kill myself afterward because there's no... There's no reason why it should be this way for victims. And these men just get away scot-free. Like I said, the one happened in Jacksonville, Arkansas, and the other one in Bentonville, Arkansas. So this is creepy music. This is a very on theme. And again, look, she's always, the audio always ramps up from super quiet to super loud. Cause it's fucking crazy. And the guy, Bentonville one, was actually no, from no, no, Missouri. So, I don't know what to do. I, why would I give a shit about trying? They, they gave me the phone numbers for the police stations for those locations. Because I have to file and make a report with each one of those jurisdictions. Which is actually kind of hilarious. Because that's how people, predators, get away with their sexual endeavors. I try to, te I try to text that guy the last one because i was like i'm worried that i might be pregnant or something like what's up with that i didn't say it in a weird way i was just being communicative and i told him communicative what did she say <laughs> oh. be pregnant or something like what's up with that i didn't say it in what's up with that i didn't say it in a in a weird way i was just being communicative and i told him honestly how my pheromones and not my pheromones my physiological changes my biological changes because it was my around my ovulation and whatever. And so talking to him was arousing, stimulating, but at the same token, I was very upset about what had happened, what had transpired between us and how he forced himself upon me. So he was like, what do you want me to, to do about it? And I was like, I don't know. I was, I was thinking maybe there was gonna be some type of relationship out of that. And he was like, I'm not gonna have a relationship with you. 
and I'm like, what? Like, that's totally fucking backwards. Like, you don't fuck. You're on a hookup app, like a hookup dating app, or like it's supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like fucking relationships or whatever. Um, if it was, you wouldn't be on the fucking dating app, would you? Yeah, it is scary thinking about this woman driving around with all her anger. Thankfully. Oh, wait, does she have her car? I don't know. They didn't say anything about like her not being able to have a car. Somebody right away, I told him, I was like, I'm going to file a report against you on rape then. Because if that's exactly how it was, if that's all I was worth to you, was that one evening of just taking advantage of me. And you don't care about my feelings or my emotions or my mental state or physical well-being whatsoever afterward, then you should be jailed for that. What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, you don't fuck me. somebody right away. I told him, I was like, I'm going to file a report against you on rape then. Because if that's exactly how it was, if that's all I was worth to you, was that one evening of just taking advantage of me. And you don't care about my feelings or my emotions or my mental state or physical well-being whatsoever afterward, then you should be jailed for that. Make no, no, you what the fuck, no, no mistake. You heard that right. If you don't want to be Leticia's boyfriend, you deserve to spend your life in a federal prison. I was supposed to get an STD check right now and get some blood work done, see if anything, you know what? She's crazy. You no, know, I walked out. I walked fucking straight out of that hot springs, St. Chai, Vincent, whatever the fuck hospital it wants to name itself at, after this many years of not doing its proper justice or services to the, the community. Doesn't go my way the way you would think. You'd think that, oh yeah, you know, like if I keep my mouth shut or whatever, he'll, he'll come back or he'll stop ghosting me or whatever. No. Why would you think that's a good approach? They just move on. What the fuck? They were predators from the beginning. That's why the one was in the Air Force. That's why the other one was like a Marine. And like, they're very, they've got those stealth, ta stealth tactics behind them. So they understand. And that's why they just whip it out and stick it in you before you even have an opinion about it. I'm sure that's, oh my God. Because people like me just get fed up with it. They just want to slit their fucking wrists. We just hide away in shame and loathing, self-loathing and just slit our wrists inevitably or, or are found hanging at the local gym. I already know I'm trash. Like, I Do background checks, people. If you guys are on dating apps and you, you find somebody, Google them. If she was using her real name, Google people. <laughs> just, just Google them. If you're going to go out on a fucking date with them, if you're going to... I don't know, man. That's just my tip of the day, I guess. Because what the fuck if the dating apps have these kind of people on it? She just, he got caught, right? I'm sure there's like successful, insane people who can maybe like fucking forge evidence or I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm scared for the world. Yeah, obviously you're coming in me and shit. Like all kinds of fucked up shit. I know. I'm not fucking trash. I'm not worth anybody's fucking time or efforts or compassion or second thoughts. Fuck everyone. And you can eat my fucking shit when you hear when you see my fucking dead body. That's all it is. You can fucking eat my goddamn shit when I drive off of a fucking bridge or I'm found drowning in a fucking river because I'm just like, fuck it. I'm over this. I just want to carve into my skin right now. The words that, that I feel represent me. Whore. Uh, I can't think of a film the best. Whore. Yeah, what's Adonis's? What's the Adonis going to say it should be? I don't, I've never seen. I think I saw the first Harry Potter. I don't know what the fuck this is gonna say though. I. I. I medicate. I must not tell lies. 
I must not tell that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you should. Because everybody's like, it's, it wasn't your fault. Like men, are, they just have urges, whatever. No, apparently it was my fucking fault, and nobody wants to do shit to try to fix it, because those are their men. They served and protected for the country, right? They're worth way more than a piece of shit like me. Whatever. I'm gonna snap one of these days. Truly snap. And then people are gonna be like, oh shit, where did it come from? Maybe because all this sh I'm not gonna wonder where it came from. Look at this shit. It keeps happening and you've got all these crazies interacting with me and all I wanna do is fucking stab them. And one of these days it'll happen, right? And then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? Will, will I be charged with murder? I mean, if they die, yeah, because this is premeditated right here. Don't really goddamn fucking care whatsoever. Goddamn ever. Fuck everyone. Fuck you. Fuck your mama. Fuck your daddy. Fuck everybody. Well, I'm not trying to be rude, but according to you, you kind of did. Lately, what's been going on with me? I've been chilling here and there. Um, not having any self-respect. Uh having sex with random people. So I understand that I have a sick sort of um, sexual urges when I shouldn't have them. I, should, I shouldn't be so primitive like my father touching little girls. I mean, how pathetic can you be? So. Ah, it's Nirvana, I think. Now I'm still, I'm 34 years old. I mean, yeah, it is Nirvana. It's the great Misa. And now I'm homeless. Living in my vehicle. I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense that I would be in here. Vehicle. And I appropriate myself better in society than most people that have jobs and homes and children and all this stuff. And it's actually hilarious because even in my pajamas, I could still school someone on any type of fact that I can prove. What's wrong with you? Are you mentally ill? Like, are you smoking those cigarettes because you want to? Make yourself better? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. Are you doing these drugs because, oh, you just have an addictive personality? Okay. So I understand that those are mental disorders and you are in denial of these facts. Most people are in denial that they have any issues. The moment that I try to speak up and tell people, hey, you're fucking crazy. Hey, guess what? I can read your mind a little bit. I know what you're thinking about. Hey, blah, blah, blah. And then they sh shoot me down. Well, that's enough of that. So in actuality, like your emotions and whatnot, when people tell me I'm, a, I'm bipolar and I'm thinking, don't you realize that I have to have energy fluctuations? I have to be able to discard some of this negative energy that you produced. Like, get away from me. This is your own toxic energy back at you. This is not Leticia. Leticia is herself. Leticia stays in her own bubble and she, she cleans up after herself. She cleans up after others. She's a very good person, and I. Uh, what the fuck is she talking? Like, clean up after anybody? What she remember the thing that she was like wiping her fucking used pads all over the place because she could see the germs. Pick up after people rolling her kids on a, a carpet or a fucking sheet because there's dog poop on the fucking motorhome. I know this, and I can say this honestly and openly because there are so many people throughout my life that know me as nothing but a good little girl like a, an angel some people have said don't tell other people you need to get a job i will literally i want to know who's calling her an angel scrape down this this fucking this bar right here <clears throat> i will literally slice it open again if i am forced to have to work some menial nine to five no thank you that i mean that's one way to make yourself unemployable i guess no thank you i'm not meant for that i'm not no 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 i literally will walk the fuck out no no people are just going to give me money to survive that's all it is like that's how it's going to be people are just going to support me but i don't really understand how in this day and age, how many times I've called the police and they tell me that I'm the issue. And I have not come across one man. I mean, they would be the experts, right? They can evaluate who and who isn't an issue and who they need to bring to jail. And that I actually respect, like physically, like one face to face engaging with that man. Never. Because you don't deserve it. Just like my ex-husband. 
Like he is a fucking pedophile. He's disgusting. He's a piece of shit is what he is. And I'm going to scream about that to the end of fucking days. Because even though these people aren't like in the courts deemed as pedophiles, I know for a fact they are because I've seen them do crazy things. What type of man puts a little shorty shorts on a little girl like like he did for my daughter? And I'm supposed to feel like that's safe? I am. That's right. I mean, did he design these shorts or whatever or are they made for kids because like i think that's i think you got a problem with society not the dad what do you mean fuck man like, and adonis put in the bottom it was just hot it was hot some to myself every day because i'm hurting so badly by all the stuff that i have to that goes on in my mind all the things that i've seen all the wrinkles that i have now crusty everything look at me I'm freaking old pimples <laughs> she got distracted by her own uh what's the opposite of beauty um grossness i was looking for a better word than grossness her own grotesque face everywhere people are like yeah you could sue them blah 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 you could sue this person and that person especially like the state of arkansas for allowing me to be sexually abused by two of the orderlies in one of the psych wards that i went to you would think that I'd be able to sue for that shit. And this is the same with officers. I'll get the same fucking attitude with them. And they're like, oh, in handcuffs, you disrespected me. <laughs> is that the Arkansas accent? That didn't sound like it. That sounded more like a, oh, like Hank Hill. I guess Hank Hill is in Arkansas, isn't he? He's in Texas, that's for sure. Fuck you, bitch. I can see your fucking shit stained underwear from here like don't even play don't even fucking play it's hilarious <sighs> everybody's so worried everybody's so worried like when is Leticia really gonna snap why don't we just lock her in her house <laughs> she can't lock her from the outside if she hurts herself she hurts herself I mean like she's been saying she's gonna forever and she hasn't yet so one of these days she's going to and she's going to take it out on every single one of those bitches. Every single one of them that laid their fucking hands on me. And I did not fight back. Just got to make sure you got different tools and vehicles and routes. Just saying. Just saying, but not saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just going to threaten to murder everyone again today. Ah, it's just a little quirk I got. So we're on the 17th of December now. Uh, so we're like halfway through this crazy month. I would murder to be near that child. I mean, it's all out of justification, isn't it? The words of God. True words of God. Yeah. Justification. You shouldn't beat the shit out of people and steal their offspring based on your mental illness and distortion. Get over yourselves. Sick human beings. Sick. So, I would recommend something happen sometime soon because I just don't know how long I can take it. I don't know how much further I will be pushed into having to be raped <laughs> then uh i don't know i don't need to say much about that that's fucking crazy i know it's making you i mean yeah no we'll just move on having to steal like my physical well-being like all of it literally don't know when i'm gonna snap it's coming and i'm making sure to video it photo it make sure everybody understands the progression into insanity because they're not i mean she did do that pretty well <laughs> it's like, i'm assuming they use these in court against her not understanding the system doesn't understand sometimes i get really confused if I'm wrong, but i feel like sometimes when i wake up i just don't know i'm so scared Ah, uh, it's the crazy shirt. She looks, she like, I don't like when she wears these shirts. They're weird. They're very weird. Anyone, if you see someone like this wearing a shirt, 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just when she wears this kind of shirt. Because honestly, I'm trying to picture it on other people. Maybe it's not a red flag. But this is a weird shirt. December 24th, 2021. Christmas Eve. Um, I'm just laying back in my car again. I found out on the 22nd. I went in. Do you guys want this shirt to be a prize in the Halloween contest? <laughs> <laughs> to the walk-in clinic in Hot Springs and found out. I went in because I was having like irritation down there and I thought maybe it might be an STD. So I wanted to get like a check done. And I asked them to run like a pregnancy test just in case and it came back positive. Um, and it would have it would have been the person that I slept with on December 4th. She just knows. She knows for show. Oh, look at these eyes. She's like, Bleh. you fucking crazy. Lady. Which was the person I was talking about, Jason, the 37-year-old. Jason, 37. And it's unfortunate for people. It's unfortunate for the father of the baby inside of me because... I tried to reach out many times to try to be like, okay, yeah, I didn't file charges on you. Uh, I don't think that happened either. Um, you did push yourself on me, but I'd still like to like you. Like I red flag. Still like to have a relationship with you in that sense. Like I didn't even get to know you before you penetrated me. But then I don't have the money to abort it anyway, so it's not even like I can. A hundred and fifty pounds I lost. All for me to give birth to some asshole's baby that doesn't even like me? I mean, these are the risks you're taking when you have unprotected sex while ovulating with multiple people. You know, I'd have to assume this is what your end game was. He doesn't even respect me enough to talk to me because... I pinpoint what's wrong with people and they don't want to have a discussion because then they say I'm crazy, even though it's obviously the other way around. I warned him about everything. I told him I was like, no. And I was like the morning after pill. I told him, I said, well, where's the money for it? You, you didn't, I didn't partake in that. I didn't say, hey, and so 50, $50, 50 of my U.S. dollars is going to go straight to that. No. What's wrong with you? I want to kill myself. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, I just want to kill myself. All right. So I wanted to make a short video. Today is the early hours of December 28th, 2021. And I just wanted to relay that the people that I had discussed prior in a couple different videos that had raped me back on December 2nd and December 4th could both be potential fathers to the baby now growing inside of me. So I tried to tell the guy that I had slept with on December the 4th that I was going to file those rape charges on him on December the 9th when I went to the emergency room here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I tried to express to him that I- What kind of music is this now? Didn't enjoy what had happened with in between us, even though it felt nice. I had only spent a few hours with both men. And then the one man that slept with me on December the 2nd, I messaged him and told him that I had left in the middle of the night because I felt uncomfortable and that I felt like, you know, the way that it went down didn't feel good to me and he ghosted me. But when I contacted him to tell him through a text message that I was pregnant and that he could potentially be the father, his attitude changed and he wanted to partake in the, the life that was growing inside of me. But I told him that I just didn't feel comfortable at all with either one of the men anymore because at first i wanted to this is the having time of my life sign there's actually words in this one now see if the, the man that had ejaculated in me on december 4th. i've heard this song in like bubblegum commercials i think fourth 
would come around and actually own up to being the father of the child because more than likely it's his child. Okay, stop right there. Remember when I pointed out that the first guy, Tom, was less sexually competent and she was already trying to woo Jason Wallace with her good girl act while having a one night stand with Tom? Well, she hits this guy up to tell him that he may be the father and he does the right thing. This is what Letitia should want, right? Wrong. She tells him she wants to wait and see if her first choice is also a simp, which he is not. Holy hell, I remember girls doing this in high school over prom dates, but this is a baby. The balls on this bitch. And no, Jason Wallace didn't just ghost you. You flip out via text message and tell him suddenly that he raped you. Yeah, did do that, see? Like, all right, I'm not going to pry. No, you did enough of that last night without my initial consent. Good night. Even though, like, there's, like, a lot of consent happening and the other things. I need to go to sleep before driving. I'll be taking a nap right now, and then I'll be leaving. And then other stuff. So let's get a bit ahead of here. Because we did learn all about these texts, like I said before. Whoopsies. And look, I changed. We got like purple now, and it doesn't take up the whole screen when we do comments. We're working. <laughs> I don't know. I'm multitasking. I, I hope it's working. Due on September 4th, 2022. And the father could have been either one of those two men. The one was named Tom. The other one was named Jason. Jason never con contacted me back. And I told him through text that I was just going to bypass that and go directly to the police officers in that location where we had had intercourse. Of course, that's how, where it has to be done is that, that area. Besides that he actually lives in Missouri. So I'll have to contact those authorities as well to find him so that they rationalize that this is not okay. And then one man, Tom, tried to say, you can come and stay with me, you know, like, you, you know, this is- Do you have a girlfriend, Swafford? Do you, sir? Yes, again, motherfucker. Jody's banging her right now. And then he tried, he insulted me by saying that I had a smell to me. What is that, um, that song that's in Napoleon Dynamite, and I think it was in a Pepsi commercial. What the fuck was that song? So, if there is a reason- for me not to file I think it was forever young rape charges please somebody speak up now well I'm gonna go with the only reason not to file rape charges if you weren't raped or forever hold your peace because honestly they're going to go to fucking prison because that's what they fucking deserve guess what there's a baby inside of me both of you are fucked because there's proof and evidence that we had sex regardless. It's actually only proof you have sex with one man. I'm just trying to help you with your math, though. Go on. I tried to contact that that one guy that I liked more, the 37-year-old, that I actually, I enjoyed his company more. He even told him how honestly I felt really attracted toward him. How honestly I wish that this were, this you know, this, this would have gone a different way. But... During our last conversation on December the 9th, he had told me, we'll never have a relationship. I'll never see you again. Well, I mean, I would understand because after spending time with Leticia, I don't think I would want to see her again either. Oh, yeah. Men will do that when you falsely accuse them of violent sexual crimes. Yeah, especially if it's after that. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's how he just left it. Because even when I notified him about the pregnancy last week and on to today... He has absolutely no response. And the only thing that should happen to someone like that is for them to be removed from the face of this earth. I mean, or you could seek a paternity test and possibly some manner of child support. But no, murder. Murder, murder is always the best answer, right? Or reprimanded extensively to where they understand and are remorseful for what they have done. Well, that's nice. She gave him a choice. You can die or, I don't know what, take an Article 15? I was only seeking a, pla a place to crash. So, like I said, today is December 28th, 2021, and I'm expecting September 4th, 2022. And I'm just 
<laughs> I'm trying to stay positive. So if you can't fix what blows my mind is she had this baby, right? She ended up having this kid, which is fucking insane. Fix this, then you're going to fucking prison. That she just grifted with this kid in here the whole time. It's all there is to it because there is no fixing this. There is no fixing this. I even told him, I was like, like, I really wish I could have sex right now. I'm really riled up. Like, I wish I could be next to you. I wish that you would acknowledge me. Yeah, yeah I don't think he'd ever want to do that. <laughs> I've already gone nearly a week knowing that I've, I'm pregnant. And he hasn't contacted me back. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just going to go. I tried. I tried to reach out, I tried to make amends, and I tried to not destroy other people's lives. D no, that's all she does. That's all I've ever seen this bitch do. What the fuck? During the process of creating a new one. But it's not working out that way. Instead, I'm going to destroy two lives while creating one. And that's okay. If this is... So, what, she's going to destroy her, her life and... The guy's life or just the two guys that she said graped her? It must be the two guys. No reason to want to fucking kill myself. I don't know what is. Just little Leticia on her own having to fight the world because everyone else is delusional and irrational and can't do their fucking jobs right. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is and not the fucking you're the crazy one and everyone else is just trying to live their life and you're this. Uh... So here I am, poor little Leticia, just trying to speak her mind, just trying to do her own thing, just trying to be polite because everybody else is incompetent. And I would be able to do their jobs better than them. We all know that. Why? What makes you think you're qualified to do <laughs> the cops' jobs? Hey, your dude's so crazy. This makes no sense. And I just, I begged him. I was like, do you really want me to file charges? Because I'm not playing with you anymore. I'm not playing your games. You're off fucking someone else and you left me with your problem. No, thank you. Get over yourself and you're a narcissist. And you deserve to be in, like in prison after all these proceedings because that is not cool to fuck with someone in the brain like that. Have a wonderful day because we all know where this is going to end up and that's me filing reports, telling people, writing letters, Telling everyone. And I thought it was going to end in self-deletion. I guess we're going a different route this time. Trying to expose this to the world. I mean, we shouldn't be taking this seriously anyways, because obviously she's still alive because she ended up, she's in a, where, I can't, it can't wrap my mind around that she left, they let her out with minimal supervision or but she had to get a mental health evaluation. Which, if she had the mental health evaluation, how the fuck did she get that? I don't know. I don't know how the world works, guys. Hey. Hello. What's going on? I'm parked at my gym. Is this a police encounter? I love police encounters. Awesome. Um, cause we might have to actually, do we have to wrap this up? What if I just started streaming like 24 seven? I don't think I'd be able to do that, but I could stream a lot more this week because it's the Halloween week, um, that I took off work and I just take Saturdays off, even though I was looking at the analytics and it seems like Saturdays get the most views. So I might have to take a different day off or I just might keep Saturdays. I don't know, but, um, yeah, we don't have to wrap it up too soon. Actually, we could probably get to the bottom to bottom the end of this video if you guys want that i frequent and i'm resting i've been a vagabond for a year now generally i take naps at the gyms that I welcome to the stream guys. i go to because i'm a disabled citizen that just found out she was impregnated by a rapist about six weeks ago so this man comes over here actually okay do you guys want to take a smoke break, actually? Because I am sick of these vapes. Um, they get me too loopy, and I need to be more focused. Um, and I lost one of them. Oh, no, it's in my lap. So we can hit them all at once. No, we can't do that. I mean, we could. But would we? Should we? Probably not. I got new music for you guys. Um, so we'll be, like, super quick and, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go smoke pretty quick. It'll be all right. Um,
Here, check this out. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm going to do this, and um, i got to put this on. And then, well, it'll be like quick. And then here's the, ah, here it is. Here's the song. Okay, so that, I'm back, I'm back in black, and, oh, my hair looks nice, thank you, it's actually, <laughs> it feels kind of crazy, because, um, I don't know, I showered too close to the stream, so it went all crazy, but, uh, this is some good music to have a smoke to, or like a bottle of wizard. Oh, a bottle with a wizard who is trying to take over the world. I like that. I made that song all from scratch. That's an original. That's a Steve DeLive original right there. Um, so I appreciate you. And let's. So we got some cops. We got the cops up in here. Um, I'm excited. I like the cops. And now I'm all. I'm recentered. My chi is is centered. 
bangs on my door and tells me that I'm loitering. But technically, if that's my gym over there and I'm resting in between going back and forth with dinner, I'm not loitering because I pay to use that facility. And I have the proof of it because I said, I'm a disabled citizen. You can run my car. I know I parked over here because I wanted to get out of the way because I didn't want, I didn't feel like I was, I was being a hindrance to anyone or that I was loitering because in a majority of places, in a majority of states, it's fine to be able to park outside of the facilities that you frequent and that you use. I mean, yeah, but were you going in? There's also like a Heather out as well. I should be allowed to be homeless anywhere. It's unconstitutional for me not to be homeless, whatever, where, wherever the fuck I feel it. And I was just in there. I just worked out, was in there for a couple of hours, showered up and came over here to rest because I didn't want to drive to the Walmart tonight because I'm pregnant and I want to get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. So if this is a humane, if humanity, question that's why i film these things because i can post them on youtube because i want to make sure that people recognize the people that are inhumane and that are just trying to take a nap here just trying to rest you don't know me from adam i understand that so you presume i was over here loitering i didn't i mean it should be on youtube so if people like leticia understand the law better and what they shouldn't do I didn't harass anyone i didn't get out of my vehicle i wasn't actually i wasn't destroying any of the property so your your presumption and your perception on loitering is incorrect sir because i pay for for that facility because like i said i'm a vagrant i'm a vagabond have been homeless for the last year and i'm i'm out of hot springs but i was born and raised in wisconsin so that's why i'm actually so intelligent as opposed to this and i understand what's with the wisconsin shit she really doesn't like Arkansas. She's always bringing that. This is the second time I've heard her bring it up, at least. She must bring it up more. I'm from Wisconsin, so that's why I talk fast. That's why I'm just more intelligent than the average bear. She was saying that's the um the cops at the her ex's place. Understand that this isn't technically loitering. And that's why I got it on film. Because I'm going to share this with, with the corporate office. Because when I was in there earlier today, at 11.20 this evening, a man walked into the female locker room and I was bare ass naked. He came over here and banged on the window like that. Who does that? And you're going to tell me to move? You think you know me? You're going to presume you she was naked in the car? You know me personally? No. And that's why I get this stuff on film so that I can share it with the world and put it on my YouTube because I am just traveling through. I don't go to this one often. I usually park outside of the Anytime Fitness. You want to go there, sir, and harass me there? Because this is technically harassment. And I would be ashamed if I were you also. Yeah. What's your name again? Let's let's get this on. Because, I mean, I had to get my drip, my socks. And I am actually OCD about cleanliness. I <laughs> the, the homeless lady is OCD about cleanliness, yes. I cannot believe that I, the audacity of some security team to try to tell me I'm lawyering at a facility and I can pull up every bit of information, sir. They can pull me up right now and I am pregnant, six weeks pregnant, just wanted to rest in between getting harassed today. And then also that man that walked into the, lo the locker room. So thank you. And I suffer from post-traumatic stress. That's why I collect disability. That's why I'm in between right now because I don't want to deal with any of the people that have abused me prior. I'm in between my disability claims, guys. But when I was in Wisconsin, it was really chill. I liked Wisconsin. I stayed at an Airbnb for a couple nights there. It was in a forest. It was fucking beautiful. Um, no, the people in Wisconsin are chill. Uh, so, yeah, what's your last name? Collins, let me get me, give you my ID because I, it's not you. I understand. It's this gentleman. This gentleman. <laughs> Like, I didn't think that I was going to have to drive seven minutes away to the Walmart just so I could turn around. But no, this man needed to get his rocks off because he had to tell somebody what what's what. I parked over here. The no one else. I got to make sure I bang on the window. Leave the fingerprints, too, with my filthy hands because I don't know how to wash my own fucking hands. Look at you. Fuck. And I just got out of the shower. I can't believe I'm stepping on the ground with my socks. That's horrific. But this man had nothing better to do with his time. And I can't wait to publicize this because he's just so, he just thinks he's so cool.
you think you're an officer too, sir? And I'm probably going to get you fired. And it's not even, I'm not even doubtful of that because I talk to corporate offices all the time. And these gentlemen will tell you that as well. So there you are scoffing like, <laughs> I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Because I told you no, because I wasn't going to move. But if it would have happened, if it would have lasted, say, another hour or so, and I was in here being reckless, and I was doing something and harassing the property, then maybe, then maybe. But all homeless people are categorized in the same lump, aren't they? Even though I'm obviously hyper-intelligent and can put... Can then what's the protocol for police in the situation? Just stand here? And what are they waiting for? Like, waiting for her to move? I don't think she's going to move. I think she's trying to make the point that she shouldn't move. Right. In point exactly what I didn't do as a fucking legality. The funny thing is, is that if you're in there using, yeah, I can't help that I'm exhausted from pregnancy. I can't help that I need naps constantly. Maybe they're just letting the clock run. I mean, they're getting paid, right, by the hour. And then I guess after a certain amount of time, and she's filming it. She'd use the, her own evidence against her and be like, if we told her the fucking leave, she didn't. And then we had to get her to. And then she didn't comply. So now she's here, right? Like, that's how it should work. This facility, and they'll, they'll reprimand whoever they need to reprimand. And that's happened prior because I am a disabled citizen. And so, like, I do suffer from different social anxieties. And yeah, like, I don't like being told. I don't think anyone likes being told what to do. Unless they're looking for guidance or you're doing something that, like, I think I need to know how to operate this kind of machine or something, you know what I mean? But uh, it's, usually you don't, we live in free countries. Canada's pretty free. America's pretty free for the most part. Like, you can just go, and as long as you're following the laws and mind your own business, and no one's going to bother you. But Leticia, she just, like, picks fights with people, man. She's a, she's a feisty one. And so, like, even just this is going to cause me trauma that's going to sustain for weeks, you know. Well, Latiti sure is having a hard time. She can't stop getting raped or harassed by the police. What is this poor... <laughs> the police are just standing there. I was raped by the police. ...woman going to do. And worst of all, nobody believes all her bullshit excuse. I mean, her stories. No one thing. If Leticia is anything, it's a great mom. I mean, come on. Her name's Latiti. She's got to be full of milk. Well, not everything is in a name. A pile of shit by any other name would still be a pile of shit. And Latiti is a world-class pile of shit. When neither of the prospective fathers she wanted wanted to be with her, and threatening her own life didn't work, what do you think she did next? If your guess is threaten the life of her unborn child, ding ding. Yeah, I remember this. You're a winner. I'm done. I'm not having this stupid ass kid. Oh, is this like a montage though? It's like a reel of all this shit. It, by the time I. Yeah, yeah, because they're gonna be like, I don't remember that shirt. End up done with this child and get rid of it, then um, I'll be saved either way. And I'm thinking, boy, if you don't die by the next 20 weeks, if you do not get the fuck out of me in 20 fucking weeks, if you do not naturally die on your fucking own, you are fucked. You are. Is she clicking a pen? Okay. I don't know if that was the song or if I was going crazy. Imagine, imagine you guys witnessed me going crazy, watching crazy people, and then I just heard that clicking for the rest of my life. I don't know what happened. I mean, it'd be something though. So, so fucked. That is clearly not something that I should be held accountable for if they, this baby is found in a ditch in a fucking garbage bag. So if this baby is found dead somewhere after it's newly born, then that is completely not on me. And even if I give birth, I'm so sorry. The heat got to it. The fact that there's not going to be a baby in 20 weeks. I don't know where the baby went. Well, okay, it's none of my business. This baby shouldn't have existed. And that's how they deal with it in third world countries. The women are allowed to go off. You know, this baby, nobody wanted it. And, you know, that's why... I've been storing a What? Where's she getting this information from? Like, I don't know if that is true or not. That's scary. But, like, bro, normally in a third world country, and this is why Bill Gates wants to lower the population or fucking make condoms or promote birth control or 
whatever he does is because in third world countries you have like eight kids because most of the time not a lot of them are going to survive and you want like your bloodline to live on so i don't think like they would be like no one wants this baby i'm just gonna go throw it away i mean like maybe that happens but that's no good cardboard box it's better off dead just like me i'll kill this baby you can lock me up for the rest of my fucking life gotta be cool it moves around i'm getting uncomfortable the pressure is there i can't lay on my stomach i i just want to beat it to death that's honestly that's what i want to do while it's inside of me though so i don't have to fucking see it fucking disgusting nasty trash baby inside of me i just want somebody to fucking kill this baby inside of me and i don't care going to fucking prison for a dead baby like um yeah straight up and i she, she wants to go to prison now like i don't know man she is she is all over the fuck i guess she always got her wish i don't know if it's prison it's definitely jail and yeah i don't know youtube is weird about what they want to monetize so like they'll they fucking run ads on absolutely everything unless you have an ad blocker and then um even if they don't want to pay like the creators like a bunch of my shit's demonetized there's still ads that run on it it's just like they don't they give me like what a fucking a fifth of what it would normally be which is whatever it's just like they're gonna monetize everything unless like <laughs> wouldn't it yeah no i think they just do everything now and if they if it can't be monetized they just take it off i'm pretty sure i just don't care if this baby's taking over fucking me then so be it if i don't get compensation soon in like some way of surviving i swear to god you're gonna have a fucking dead baby on your fucking hands I don't know. When you get to that point, and me and you, and I'm still tripping out, you might end up getting lost in the woods somewhere. I'm not even worried that anybody would steal this child. I'd probably snap its neck on the way out and be like, here you go. I'm seven weeks pregnant and a couple... The music... I don't know what happened in the music. ...couple days. And I'm just trying to wake up and not have... She's wearing a Bob Ross shirt. Um, <laughs> something make mistakes in life. Bob Ross is like, you just paint over them. I don't think, I don't think she should be taking advice from Bob Ross in this instance. Morning sickness, so I eat some peanut butter and this, I don't know, this is crazy. Negs was eating peanut butter one time. Trying to combat. To... James was eating peanut butter one time, like out of the jar like this. What the fuck? Throw up. I don't feel good. Lack of effort to try to succeed financially. That's where people believe that I'm mentally ill. So <clears throat> if the U.S. government doesn't recognize that there are people like me out there that tried to succeed... I went to school. I went beyond. I went to some college and everything. Two different colleges. I went to some college. I can't tell you the college, but I went to some. Colleges. So I know that I've been educated enough to recognize what's going on in the world around me, in the systems, the fact that they want us to place efforts into seeking degrees, certifi certifications and things that will never lead to any type of financial stability i don't know even a broken clock is right twice a day right <laughs> they told me no the systems can't be wrong they can never be wrong i mean i don't know there is a lot of bullshit degrees out there oh so um but like i don't know <laughs> this is, I don't think that TCS should be worried about this right now. She should be worried about a lot of other shit. You don't rip away children from someone that's going through a mental upheaval that is completely safe around children. And that is the only thing that helps keep her safe are those children. Uh, hey, retard, the children are supposed to depend on you. You're not supposed to depend on the children. If the only reason you're not killing yourself is because you're around your child, then you probably shouldn't be around your child. You're fucking unstable. Yeah, I mean, like, 
obviously when you're an adult and then your parents are old people and they need to be like put in a retirement home or I guess like move in with you, depending on your family dynamic, then the worlds would switch, but not when they're a baby. Yeah. Like you should, <laughs> it doesn't make sense that way. So if you don't recognize that smoking weed and playing with fucking crayons and watching cartoons is what I really want to fucking do with my goddamn life. That's not. No one gets to do that. If anyone just got to do that, life would be like a fucking cakewalk. You literally just described how I make a living. In actuality. I mean, like, what? What does Adonis do? He plays with crayons and shit all day. That smoking weed and playing with fucking crayons and watching cartoons. Is what I really want to fucking do with my goddamn life. I mean, like, I guess Donis means because he drew this, maybe with crayons, and he smokes weed. But I think he's selling himself short. This took a lot of work to put together. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying that Donis don't sell yourself short. You literally. She just wants to be like scribbling in a corner. She just wants to right on the walls like fucking Heather. Really, just described how I make a living. In actuality. Three years ago, nearly three years ago, when I tried to reach out to my ex-husband, they took him up on his, let's see, his fear. They took him up on his, his deranged lies and told them that I was going to turn around and try to stalk in fucking kill him. Because he said it multiple times. I mean, like, I, that's a valid concern, yeah. Because of the words that I used and I told him, I informed him, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah. And I am going to fucking kill him. I didn't edit that. <laughs> Yet I don't actually, I don't actually get compensated financially to help me. Because when I reached out nearly three years ago, you said I was harassing my ex-husband's communications. You put me in jail for two months and also in a psych ward for a month. You people are evil. Yeah, yeah, they don't just put people in a psych ward for two months for no reason, right? Especially in today's day and age where they'll just let fucking Heather and James out after three days. You know what I'm saying? Like, you must have been super fucked. Like, on levels I can't even comprehend. Maybe Adonis is right. Maybe you are the worst person in the world. Maybe. <laughs> Just haven't been able to do enough damages, some other fucking pieces of shit, right? When I was in jail, people kept laughing at me, all the officers and everything. And they knew that something was like so wrong that I would just allow them to abuse me. And I signed over my rights to my dogs. And the guy, you know, he sat he sat down and he was like, Well, we're you know, we're gonna find them good homes. And in my mind, I was thinking, but they don't need any other good home. They're mine. <laughs> like, when am I going to get out of jail? <laughs> you didn't see my words as, like, me reaching out. You saw me as, instead of being the actual victim here. Is this where she's about to kill the dogs? Because, like, they offered to find the dogs' homes, and your reaction to this was, I'll just kill the fucking dogs. That's going to be insane. Why? I need, I don't know. All right. He saw me as being the maniac, when in actuality, that's not the fucking case, bro. You don't get... Yeah, bro. Brownie points for being a good person. Yeah, you fucking do. Because if you grew up around the nonsense that I fucking lived through, the first fucking think thing I fucking think about is murdering everyone. Because I sure as fuck am not going to rack up a shit ton of debt that I'm going to end up having to owe to the United States of America when the United States of America was the one that allowed me to suffer so poorly and allowed me to get all molested by my family and all touchy-touchy by their own militiamen. And so, yeah, I'm fucking freaking out because I don't even... I don't even show it off all that much. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, oh, oh, yeah, let's let's get these out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, let's, mm, yeah, I must be, I must be begging for it. I was begging for it when I was a kid, and I'm begging for it now. So if you're not engaging and understanding from where what I'm coming fuck? from. What, why? Just why? So she called the cops on herself because she turned her power off because they were listening to her in the light bulbs? 
what do we get to see that what the fuck what the fuck does that mean what the fuck you need to be educated you need to go and get some therapy of your own because all the things that i state are completely viable evident you know and evident through you know uh is that rage against the machine in the background traced documentation there are other people out there like me okay don't be clapping when i'm trying to listen to the background song that she's in hey there's tons of people out there like me that didn't get to voice their opinion when they were the victim and then they turned into the fucking aggressor they or they turned into the problem and you're gonna tell me that i'm fucking crazy because i like to fluctuate in my tone of voice because i like to act like a child the majority of the time because i don't want to do this and that because i don't want to conform my mind has done enough for you people what has your mind done for anybody so how are you gonna win this government how, how are you gonna swirl this around to make it my fault again tell me how Oh, it's because I go around trying to get my tits all over everybody. It's because I want to, I want them to be sucked. I want them to be, I want to get fucked. I want everything. That's what I want. Why would, why didn't I fucking, why didn't I speak out sooner? I knew as when I was eight or 12 years old that I wanted it from my dad so bad. I knew it. I knew it. Fucking sick fucks. Fucking sick fucks. You're arguing to yourself. You're looking at yourself in a camera and you're yelling all this shit. You're not, who are you even fighting here? You're just being crazy. Crazy people, bro. I know you fucking watch, you pieces of shit. I know you've been engaging for fucking enough time to realize. I know because I've seen the differences in the video, the views and shit like that, and how some of them never get processed and whatever. So there's got to be people watching from above that that see and they just want to they're nosy as fuck they don't want to help they have all means to help but they don't want to they want to see how how bad this train wreck gets this is a new voice uh-huh oh but it's my feet freedom of speech it's my freedom of spank and my oh my freedom of speech because that's what it's like in the united states they don't give a fuck they're actually crazy yeah, you. You're crazy. You're crazy. Ugh. Because they're fucking inbred. Like, they cannot process certain emotions. They cannot process certain certain aspects of reality and other people's perceptions. So, I wonder sometimes why I'm so smart. Like, I can't even handle it. Like, if you put me in fucking court, I will literally probably scream at someone and be like, That, that, that one did it! <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, this doesn't sound like intelligence to me. And they think that I'm mentally unstable. No, I literally eat more fruits and vegetables than most people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm crazy. You can eat my shit. You can eat my shit. And you can gag on it. And all your kids can gag on it. I'm mentally ill. She has like some strange obsession with people eating her shit. Oh. I'm mentally ill because all I want is cock. All I want is to be fucked and I want to suck and I want to do all kinds of crazy. Recognize and step the fuck off because your dicks are worthless. Your psychosis that you have when you get a boner, which you get a boner like every five seconds, that makes you crazy. She, this is like, we never saw this shit. This is like scary crazy like she she's out in the world right now she's gonna violate the don't go on social media thing i'm surprised she hasn't violated it already who's watching her she needs to be watched this is a like what the fuck and i'm just supposed to like sit here like my reality is insane like these people when he got me to get like one of the officers gave me a little stuffed bunny and they said yeah you know you will see your bunny when you go to the hospital and i thought of it as like my daughter like the little bunny because you know i love rabbits and so they didn't even arrest me 
the day that I got put in jail and stuff, they just... They didn't arrest me the day that I got put in jail and stuff. I mean, like, getting put in jail and stuff sounds an awful lot like being arrested. <laughs> they convinced me to go with them by giving me a teddy bear. He promised. Oh, they just like they were like, you followed the teddy bear and they threw it in the jail cell and you ran in there and they're like, oops, we accidentally shut the door. You didn't get arrested. But that was just like a strange mishap. It was me. I would get my teddy bear and he promised me I would get my bunny. And I was freaking out. I was like, I want my bunny. And people look at me and they think that I'm drunk. They look at me and they think that I'm on drugs. I mean, that's giving you the benefit of the doubt because they can't comprehend a normal per like. Someone being like this, not on some kind of substance. Because I just go around so sad looking like this. <laughs> you deserve this! You asked for this, you fucking whore! <laughs> Dumbass people. Don't judge people. If I'm having a fucking shitty day and I want to walk around like this... I should be allowed to because my hair is naturally fucking crazy like that. And I've got way too many thoughts to fucking keep housed in this shit. Okay, so <laughs> the hair needs to be crazy. That's why it's drifting out today. Crazy curls. Thoughts. The symbolism. Anyway, I'm out. Sunday. I'm out. Peace. December 16th or 17th, 2022. Leticia Collins. So she's uh in a car now. Today is Monday. January sixteenth, twenty twenty two. So like I mean it could be an OP of the day. So the when she's crazy like that, she's withdrawn, and now she seems, yeah, a lot more down. So like you think like she's on opiates here. I mean, that's terrible for the baby if she's pregnant while doing that. Martin Luther King Day. If everybody tells me go to a homeless shelter, no. I would rather die. So I decided. That's very like James. I would rather die than go to a homeless shelter. They won't let me live stream in there. That since you don't exist, since nobody actually gets a hold of my videos, right? Until after the fact when I load this stuff and nobody really cares about me as an individual in particular. I would just video myself right now as I end up taking a bunch of hydros and try to slip my wrists. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hydros. That's, those are opiates. I remember, I do remember talking about hydros. I just don't remember this jacket. I don't remember the other clip that we saw um, before this. And hope that somebody would go back and actually test to see who the fucking father of that baby was and do something about it. And if I fucking wake up from this and have to go to a fucking psych ward because of everything everyone else has done to me, I swear to God, I swear to God, I will make every fucking attempt after that to fucking kill myself. I have told people since I was 12 years old when I got my fucking stomach pumped, I don't want to be here. You guys are fucking psychopaths, and I'm sick and fucking tired of this, and I'm about to reach down there in a moment, dig around for my razor blade, and start carving out the lines where I'm going to slice very firmly. Um, so I've literally been fucking sexually abused by my father. Sex She's got, like, poodle hair going on here, I think. Or maybe it's a filter, or maybe... It's a sign that there's something more seriously wrong with her. Truly abused by my brother and my mother even. Because you're not supposed to kiss on your daughter's tits and ass. That was weird. So I've tried yeah, weird. to reach out to people all these years to try to get some fucking compensation for the shit that I've lived through. So yeah, that's Heather-esque as well. So I can continue to fucking live in this shithole. Oh, I hope to 
fucking god, people will fucking see me slumped over here. Like, what the fuck? She's just sleeping? Fuck you, people. Fuck you, I know you're watching as this is recording, even. The fuck you think I don't know that? I don't think anyone is doing that. Uh, um, unless you mean the NSA, maybe? I don't know. So anyway, if I could just fucking die, this fucking piece of shit father of this baby, I already know he still gets the fucking messages. I know he reads them, and I know damn well that it fucking pisses him off and makes him fucking worried or whatever the fuck he's feeling. I know. Yeah, I know, Daniel. I know. <laughs> That's what I think, too. But uh, this is from 2022, so last year, January last year. Oh, that's stupid. I'm done. I'm not having this stupid-ass kid, and you just go ahead and offer me what I fucking need, or you end up getting this fucking video of me slicing my fucking wrists. Like, and I cannot wait to get this on film. For everyone to fucking witness, like, these are the moments right before she slit her fucking wrists. And she warned everybody. And she told everybody. She told the government to fix their fucking shit in a timely goddamn manner. Yeah, <laughs> timely manner. Yes, come on. She gave you lots of time to figure out all the shit that she should be figuring out herself. But no. My blood is on your hands now, bitches. You're going to tell me that those fucking poodles were better off somewhere else because I was going through a mental upheaval. You mean, are they going to tell the woman with a history of animal abuse that she can't keep her animals while she's going through a violent mental breakdown? Yeah, probably. I'll yeah, no, I, yeah, what the fuck? This, this is, is this where she kills the poodles? Also, the fact they were putting you in jail for 90 days. She says jail for 60 days in the mental hospital for 30, but the mental hospital, the mental facility was in jail, so... Just trying to help you out with your math, little titty. That's 90 days. My blood is on your fucking hands. Like I said prior. I mean, I wasn't going to be mean earlier because I thought about this earlier. But would anyone really care if Latitia did fucking kill herself? You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she threatens to all the time. But who was she fucking threatening? Like, who would be like, oh, my God. The world just isn't the same without her, you know? Like, I think uh, I might be doing people a favor. Um, and that's the, the one mean thing I'll say today. They will know. Everyone will know. Everyone will know why I did it, how I did it, when I did it, and how I was speaking out for help, but nobody did anything about it because they couldn't enforce any will upon anyone else but me. My creation is, I'm going to bleed out right now. People are going to fucking notice. And people are going to make a fucking change after this. Because hopefully this and my child and all that, because fuck this baby inside of me. If nobody's going to help me fucking tend to it while it's in me. If nobody's going to help me while I'm puking. If nobody's going to hold my hair back and rub my back and rub my feet and fucking everything I want then no how about no how about fuck everybody and you can suck my goddamn dick if I have to spend another fucking night freezing to goddamn death and having to sift through and be happy about my trash ass fucking putting everything back and forth in my fucking car because I swear to Christ I'm supposed to be so happy and so just content with this but I am not I am not. I want my riches now. I want them yesterday. Riches? You want your riches? I want them before I was fucking born. Because <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Enough is enough. I fucking hate you people. I swear to God. Like, I swear to fucking Christ. You people are so fucking demented. And then you act like it's all us. You act like, oh, God, and well, we better delete this video. Better not have anybody fucking watch this. Nice. That's the, she got the box cutter. Oh, my God. What are we going to witness? Ah, I touched my glasses. Where are we going to witness? Nice. Hmm. Probably would just work so much better. No, 
Okay. I don't know. You can't show this. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. First off, I gotta clean the glass. Second, we can't show this. How did Adonis get away with showing this? This is bad. This is no bueno. We don't have to skip this. Can't show this. <laughs> she must not do it, right? She must not do it. Are we gonna gamble? Should we? Should we play roulette? Let's do it. Um, she doesn't. Okay, I trust you, M. I trust M. Let's uh, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> I know it's always like that initial. It's like okay, <laughs> and then it's like, just do it, bitch. Just do it. Just fucking do it. Oh my god, I'm gonna get in so much trouble if people have seen this if I wake up from this. Oh my god. That's what worries me the most. Like you would think. I mean, it just sounds like you're excited. It doesn't sound like you're worried at all. Just like bring him at me. Like I would slice Is that Bloodhound gang in the back? It's my ex-husband's dick off. I would slice fucking what's his face's dick off all of them they're dicks i would just sh fucking cut their dicks off why couldn't you just fix it in a fucking timely manner why the fuck is wrong with you people and it's like the harder the louder i scream the more people just ignore me why so you just sit there you watch as everyone is distorted and everything in my reality has hurt me. <laughs> everything was taken from me. Everything. And then you just, you keep demanding more. See, this is the thing that like, I, she could just change her name. What? I'm wondering how fast she would get thrown in jail if she did, uh, just start posting on social media again. James wasn't supposed to post on social media, and he did anyways. Well, he wasn't supposed to, like, not post, period, but he wasn't supposed to post about his ex, and he did anyways. And they didn't really enforce anything. They were just like, unless he's in the state, can't do shit, we're not going to extradite it. So I don't know if, like, what if she flees the state, and she just starts posting shit again? Do you really think they're going to, like, extradite the warrant? Or do you think they'll just let her go off and be crazy? Because, like, there's probably bigger fish to fry. I don't know. Um, but I hope that that doesn't happen. I'm sure, like, YouTube would be happy because of the Latidia would be back. But they need to just put her in jail. Just keep her in jail. Or a mental hospital or some shit. Because this is too much. This is, like, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of a, a good analogy. Like, when you're eating sh sh not, I don't want to compare it to sugar. Um, she's not sweet at all. She's evil, but yeah, it's just like no. Nah. Out of everyone, I think she needs to be in jail probably the most, to be honest, which is saying a lot. So much more. Ugh, I will not create this child alone. I will not fucking feed myself alone. I will not clothe myself alone. I will not house myself alone, bitch. I will not go to a homeless shelter. I would rather fucking die. I swear to God. I'm so sick of this. I just want to like shove it. I do just like straight. In. Just straight and over. <laughs> oh. So she was she says she's born in Wisconsin, but she's in Arkansas. If that's if that's what you mean. Much fun would that be? How much fun? How much fun? <laughs> I hate this so much. I just want to break everything around me. I mean, do it. That'd be entertaining. Don't, don't hurt yourself, though. <laughs> I hate you, all of you. Ah! The problem is, is that I've done it so many times, and I already know the pain when it fucking heals. <laughs> first ah uh, just shove it in there just first shove it in 
Remember when Britney Spears danced around with knives? I mean, like, that was scary. I thought those were real knives. I thought she was going to, like, cut herself. The dogs ran away. She should do like that. Get the knives out. Be like, whoo. Be like, whoa. And so she's just like, with the fucking box cutter. No, I don't see the thing is I don't want to be stopped. There's the difference. Majority of the time This is Bloodhound Game. I would be like, please, somebody stop me. Please, no, please. No. God, please do not fucking interfere with my fucking reality right now. Please, God. <laughs> Start the car and sit here. Oh, fuck. They're not family if they tell you to go ahead and hurt yourself. They're not family if they're not. We got some uh, country music bumping now. I might have to get another drink. That's okay. I can keep playing. I can still hear it. There for you, helping you during the the good times and the bad times. And it was a great relationship that I had with my first daughter. Technically, she's my third baby. Um, so she was a rainbow baby to me. She she meant everything to me. Well, now I'm not that frumpy and I'm not that fat anymore. I'm down to now I'm 165 pounds. That bothers me because I've gained weight since I got pregnant, forcibly knocked up by a rape two months ago. And I don't understand why I can't have compensation for any of the things that I've lived through in order to live a better, more fulfilling life than the people that have traumatized me. You seek out assistance and they mark you for the rest of your life. You're low income trash. They don't help you. I was explaining to someone when the housing voucher came to me two years ago, they expected me to find a property here in this location in Hot Springs, Arkansas, that was four seventy-five dollars a month or less. And that doesn't necessarily even include the utilities. So what they wanted me to do, because they said that there was no other way, they couldn't get me into housing otherwise because of the fact that I was making a certain amount of money from disability. It doesn't make any sense. So... I don't understand why I get reprimanded so severely, so... Make it make sense, guys. I had to press too many things to say that. I was off cue. I'm eating really quick and I'll be back. Partially to the point where Hot Springs, Arkansas and the authoritative figures that took advantage of me and took advantage of this situation when I was going under uh, in a mental break because of the abuse that I was sustaining in the marriage that I was in, and yet they gave him full custody and then people think I'm fucking crazy because all I'm trying to do is relay the trauma that I've been living through my whole goddamn life. Okay? So please do something in exchange to get me some some semblance of a fucking positive reality. Oh, we can't file a suit against that gym that you were, you know, forcibly like somebody somebody saw you fully naked we can't do that because technically you have no physical injuries you have to have a physical injury so their insurance will cover it and there's nobody that will do it pro bono pro bono fuck you people don't you see what my reality is you guys are why is she smacking herself now while she's smiling she's like ah, i love slapping myself sick and stupid and fucked up and you can suck my goddamn proverbial fucking dick Help me fucking die. Help me fucking want to commit suicide, you mean? That's what every step of the fucking processes and systems here in the fucking Hot Springs area have done for me the last 15 years. You can suck my dick. No matter what you fucking do, I haven't done shit wrong. I haven't burned down buildings. I haven't cut anybody like that. I haven't fucking stabbed anybody or killed or murdered or anything, anyone. I killed a dog with my bare hands a couple times. <coughs> but yeah, but, uh, but, uh, well, excuse me? Excuse me? Um, yeah, you heard her right. She choked two dogs to death with her bare hands, and she's admitting to that. 
I'm sure she had a good reason, though, right? I can't even remember her reason. I remember her putting the fucking dogs in the freezer because they wouldn't have had a better home or some shit. I might be getting shit mixed up now. But why did she strangle two fucking dogs? That's insane. That's some psycho fucking insane shit. At least, I don't know why I'm, like, trying to... I'm not even... I'm not giving her an out, but I'm saying there's a disconnect, but if you put the dogs in the freezer and just walk away, you th- there's something completely different than like watching a dog die in your fucking arms. That's insane. That's they're both insane, but the one is way more insane. You know? Now you might think that maybe you're misunderstanding oh. something, and that is why I'm going to divert both chronologically and subject-wise into what we will call the oh. puppy killer saga. You got to hear this shit. I'm not really scared of animals like that. All right, so this is the. To the trigger warning, because I don't know, I could have said trigger warning before. This is the puppy killer saga. As if like that, 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 that needs to be a saga itself. Like, I have um, affection for them. I understand. I, I have empathy for them. And I know that they're just trying to survive. At one point, too, my dog had gotten impregnated by the stray dog. And... I didn't know what to do with the puppies. They were pit bull puppies. And in the area in the south that I was living... Is this like knockoff Freebird? What is this in the background? Nobody wants pit bull puppies. And I was so sad because they taught us in uh, in, the first pet store that I, I worked at. He taught us that putting animals in the freezer was the most humane thing to do for them. And at that time, I was on a lot of psychiatric meds too, you know, trying to go through my stuff and trying to figure this out. And I knew nobody wanted those puppies. And I stuck them in a bag and put them in the freezer and heard their whimpering cries as they died. Um, And somebody even said, they were like, blah, blah, blah. How can we believe blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, because I'm not a murderer. Because I'm, I mean, yes, I killed those puppies. Yeah, that would make you a fucking murderer, in my eyes at least. I know. Uh, <laughs> me and Crow fought about the definition of murder one time. That was fun. That makes me very sad. I did that. I put them in the freezer. They didn't live afterward. That's very sad. Most people don't understand that. And if you can't engage with that, that means that you're not emotionally evolved. That means that your emotions aren't all there and you don't understand empathy, which is very sad. We found a way! We found a way! We found a way! Yeah, actual footage of my YouTube chat when we watch this shit. Oh, late, late video. Yeah, fuck man. Like this is like I said, trigger warning. This is a weird, this is a not even a weird saga. This is a dark, fucking insane saga. I can't picture James or Heather doing this. I think James strangled a cat once actually. But he, that was like the first time his nose got broken. Maybe. I don't know how, if we can even believe that story because there's no like actual proof. But that's how the story goes. Uh, he definitely did get beat up by a fucking priest though. Um, but I don't think he murdered a whole litter of anything um, or any other animal. The only other fucking person that I could think of who's killed animals is Repsion because he's just like, I gotta shoot these squirrels to get rid of them. Other than that, um, yeah, no, I don't. I can't think of fucking anyone who's killed uh, animals like this. We have found the witch. May we burn her? I always have problems with my electronics, especially when I'm trying to film and especially when I'm trying to upload my videos, because I know that I'm a hindrance to, you know, everyone because of my story because of the the facts behind my story and how I am just brutally honest, torturously honest about everything. And people say that I torment them with the truth. And I, and I say, well, haven't you tormented me enough? Isn't that why I'm classified as disabled that I'm constantly being harassed? So yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I deserve more than say you that say that you're normal, say that you're healthy, say that you're mentally stable. So just stating, just stating the facts, you know? I'm not- I mean, this has to segue into puppy killing, right? Because that's what the saga is. 
I don't know how we're going to get there. I'm not here to appease anyone. I'm not. I'm here to make God happy. And whether or not other people are happy with my existence, that's yes, fine. Yeah. I don't care. But if you're going to blame me for something, please make sure I actually did it. And also, too, you know, and I could be apologetic about something like that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't do that. But I did. So I'm not going to apologize for something like that. Fuck no. I already know that I deserve a lot. And I deserve a lot more than most people because of my intelligence. And merely that. So smart. You can't figure out how to make money without, like, entrapping men with babies. Like, come on, bro. So, and not even just because of my compassion. It's all of it. All of all. I'm very well-rounded and people know that. That's why they attempt to get into my sphere so that they can do something in order to disprove what I have to say. And they can't. Instead, I've just had this, this way of phrasing things is so intellectual in that way that I have so much knowledge that I'm trying to convey in this weird body, in this weird tone, in this, I don't know what people see. I'm horrified. I'm, that sounds like you're describing all your Asperger's or something. I'm like, wait a minute, are you not engaging with my intellect or are you just engaging with my aesthetics? That's what it fucking is. And you just can't get past the fact that I've got a crooked tooth, that I've got a big ass nose, that I got my ears are big, and my hair is all fucked up and curly right now. Like a Keebler elf, like uh, Dreamy said. <laughs> I get it. I fucking understand. I know that my raging emotions, I get that, and my raging whatever, but in a moment, I'll be fine. I'm going to go to the grocery store, I'm going to go get something to snack on, I'm going to get my mind off of it, and hopefully somebody will invite me out. Somebody will, you know take me to a movie or something that i want to do who the fuck is gonna take you to a movie what something that i enjoy i've always just been verbally aggressive and i cost people with my intelligence because they are being ridiculous and yet then they turn around and they're like no you're ridiculous psych ward you bitch and i'm like jesus no jesus no like you have no idea how many times i've been stuck in the fucking psych ward scared out of my goddamn mind I was standing there in the in the gym in the locker area and pacing around because there was no one there and it reminded me of being in the psych ward one of the times i had a flashback and i was just like pacing and pacing and i thought holy shit are they gonna try to put me in a psych ward because of my words again fuck them freedom of speech fuck you don't touch me so even the fact that i i willingly have told people yes i'm suicidal don't touch me do not fucking force me in a psych ward. It will make me more suicidal. And there have been people that have sexually abused me, orderlies at one of the facilities. And yes, that is true. I have to cut them off. No more connections. No more connections. Because none of them were healthy. They were very toxic to me. Even my own daughter and the fact that she just sort of like scampered off with her dad. And, you know, he was the cool parent because he was gone all day and she saw me all day long. So, I mean, the way you described raising your kid, I wouldn't be surprised either. You wouldn't like kiss them or anything because you're sucking too much dick, right? And like I said, the sheets in the fucking, uh, this is weird. You haven't described a very like loving um, atmosphere that you provided this kid. She would go with him and, and he would feed her whatever she wanted in that way tasty nutritionless snacks candy all this and that um either we can have a good situation or we can have a terrible one and i can make you cry and that's how it normally works because my words cut so deeply sometimes and that's what i want is somebody yes a simp i don't give a fuck what you say i would much rather have that than some douchebag fucking misogynistic piece of shit like jason wallace who the fuck is oh is that Jason 37 or was that josh 37 I, i'm i'm sorry to keep up with the people is all he did spanking it took me forever to get leticia's name right so my bottom and then running off fuck you i don't give a shit like that just makes you look like trash and this baby's gonna know it hello everybody it's later in the day april 27 2022 i like these obsessive comments about puppy killing and i'm like I've lived through my instances where things happened, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're free from the same sin. So you consume animals, you're contributing to that slaughterhouse, those slaughterhouses and those animals 
have just as much emotion as a puppy does. So if not more. So I don't know what's wrong with people. I think you're crazy. Why are you calling me a puppy killer? You're crazy. Because he killed puppies. I wasn't doing it out of like malice. It was because the society told me that they were unwanted. And I yeah, yeah, it's society's fault. Was not able to have them. And so she's not going to conform in every other way, but she's going to fucking k kill a bunch of dogs. When does the strangling the dogs come in? Did she say it in the last bit? And I'm just like totally gapped the fuck out and I missed it. I think she was just going on about other shit. So what do you wanted me? What did you want me to do? One day I went out. My ex-husband. Why is she holding a flower? Remembers this. We had a dog. He was a pit bull puppy that I'd gotten from my um, ex stepdad. And he, I named him Golden Eye because he had the most beautiful golden eyes. Oh, I thought it was going to be like, because he was like the James Bond villain, Golden Eye. And the pit bull puppy was running around in the backyard and it was chained because he would get into everything. He was chewing up everything. So I changed him. I, I mean, I think Heather would have killed that flower by now. I don't think she could hold the flower without stra strangling the flower's neck. I picked the flowers up by its neck. Flowers have stems, they don't have necks, but that's how Heather sees them. ...to the corner of the fence and tried to give him proper shade and oh, gave him plenty good. of water, buckets of water. We had left to go yard sailing, and I'm not sure if that was the day that I went with my sister again that day and my ex-husband did something else, or if we had gone together and come back and the dog was dead. And I knew that there was no possible way that that dog could have died from heat exhaustion. Somebody had given it something. And yeah, the puppy cries, I don't know. I kind of walked away, kind of like everyone else does when actual people are in need. You see them suffering, you see them dying, you see them wasting away, and yet you do nothing. So you're just as bad, if not worse, as someone that kills puppies. Hmm. He who casts, wait, wait, he who has not sinned shall cast the first stone. Yeah, you have no, no reason to talk. Believe me. I love Kroger so much. I do. I do. And I don't care if they don't want to be associated with a puppy killer. Oh my Jesus, they kill slaughter animals and they sell them. You can't, you can't be hypocritical, hypocritical about some things. That, but, but. I don't know, that's completely different, bro. <laughs> it's, not, it's not people's pets. Um, it's to eat. It's not just because you're having a bad day or just, you don't like society or what they're trying to tell you to do or whatever the fuck your reasoning was. Everyone's obsessed with the idea that I killed puppies. Yeah, because... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's surprising to me that she's surprised about the backlash. I worked for a vet for like two or three days and that vet when it actually was going to like was this backstreet boys bay one of the dogs it turned out it was pregnant and she had called the owner and the owner had said i don't want the puppies so what did she do during that spay and these were very large puppies mind you she threw them in the trash so if anybody has any comments about dog killers Take them to mm. the vets. Take them to your own goddamn issues. Okay? And I was disgusted. And the things that they were doing and the animals and how they were abusing them was way worse than sticking puppies in a fucking freezer. So you guys can all eat my fucking shit. You're the ones that... What? How are they killing them? I thought they just give them like a shot. Like they, uh... Right? It's a shot. Kill humans. If you want to sit there and talk shit about someone you don't even realize that you've done way worse in your fucking life also too you probably consume meat so eat your own fucking words i'm done getting harassed by individuals that don't listen to my entire story you people are trash and that's why i'm leaving you with nothing that's why i'm leaving you with no more commentary no more videos would we consider this commentary this is just bitching is it? I guess it's commentary about life. Because that's it. You're all obviously stupid and deranged. Okay? So, puppy killer, here you go. And also, too, take it to the fucking vets, like I said. If anyone has any commentary about this, no one cares. There's something wrong with you mentally. Go seek therapy. 
you dumb pieces of fucking trash. So you tell me who's truly the fucking sadist. Who's who's really that perverse? And it's you. not fucking me. The vets that, that euthanize dogs too, knowingly. So what are you going to tell me? That I've got marks against my soul? I've already prayed many times over that. And I've made amends with God over that. But apparently you people haven't with your issues. Yeah, she's got God on speed dial. I'm sure he's he understands, you know. <laughs> I'd love to see how that conversation went in her head. And you've probably killed plenty of animals, animal killers. And also, too, the fact that you eat and consume animals. And good for you. You're all fucking trash. Have a blessed day, everybody. And also fuck off because you can all eat my goddamn shit. Have a blessed day and fuck off. We can make that a bumper sticker. All of you. And anybody sitting there trying to bash me and whatever in the community forums and whatnot, you are literally mentally ill. Literally. Those puppies, like I said, didn't matter. In Hot Springs, Arkansas, they'd rather kill puppies than save them. The same with homeless people. The same with anyone. Because they're sick. And so are you. You're all sick in the fucking head. And there's nothing you could say that would hurt me personally because I know damn well I'm not a goddamn puppy killer, murderer, blah, blah, blah. But you are, and you are taking it personally because you're like threatening to leave. You're like, I'm, no, I'm leaving you with nothing, no more commentary. Blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, go, leave, leave. Never come back. Blah, blah, blah. If, you, if I am, that goes around to you. You cow killers, you chicken killers, you all this and that. Every fucking animal that you consume is ten times worse than killing a fucking puppy. Bet. Bet, you dumb cunts. Let me give that burger over there. Let me get this and that and the chicken. Fried chicken this and this and this and this. You're all sick anyway. It doesn't matter. And then you're talking about me. Fuck. At least they died smoothly. and Just smoothly, huh? Quickly. Like the U.S. government does to some of these fucking pieces of shit around here. I no, they give them shots, too. They don't just stick them in freezers. I wish they would do it to me. Instead, as a slow-going fucking death. And you'd rather talk about puppies than talk about the actual facts of me being homeless and being abused and assaulted and sexually traumatized. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's hard for me to really make a lot of jokes or light of this this is like i said this is dark this is why it's the late night leticia and late night larson because larson was kind of like this too there was there was not a lot of wiggle room for comedy <laughs> look at these guys um hopefully i mean like we're almost done i don't know how long the fucking look he comes like adonis comes back soon so i, I think this saga is almost over guys all this ptsd that's what you want to pinpoint your stupidity you people are sick and it's not on you that I would kill myself, believe me. It's on Jason Wallace. It's on the authorities. It's on the cops. It's on all these judicial systems that flaw flawed that are flawed that failed me. It's on I mean, like, this is a bit of comic relief. What has Tipster even been up to by Flock? I I don't keep up with him. He's had me blocked forever. Sometimes every now and then he'll unblock me. I don't know why. And then he'll block me again because it's Tipster and he's crazy. And uh, <laughs> that whole Augie video about me is because Tipster was watching me while he was taking a shit and then um, derailed my fucking promotion for the uh, technicals interview. And it ended up being all about Tipster and not any of the points that I wanted to make. But um, like what? I don't know. I just want to know how he's been. <laughs> if you don't know, I don't know either. We could just uh, imagine how he's been. And then. And it's also on the fact that my ex-husband did the stupid shit in his family and my family. So if ever there's a story about, oh, this little fucking homeless girl killed herself. Yeah. Thanks to you people. Do you know what these words mean? Mind you. And I have to wonder because a lot of you don't understand English. A lot of you don't understand large words and you don't like to do research or search for definitions. And I feel sorry for you. Because you're part of that slow-minded mentality that thinks that your your reality is grander than others. Jesus. That she's describing herself. She just she thinks she's special for some reason. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking stupid. 
puppy killers, huh? Yeah, exactly. Talk to the vet about that. What was her name? Shit. And you say, I'm crazy. And this bitch gets paid to put things down. This bitch gets paid to euthanize. This bitch gets paid all this and that. If you want crazy, go after her. Have a blessed day, everybody. Mm. 20, wait, April 28th, 2022. Leticia Collins serving. You're all the puppy killers. Why don't you think about that? You're all the, the baby killers. Okay? And you can end up eating my goddamn fucking diarrhea. Not just my shit. When I have diarrhea from eating any animal products, I'll send it your goddamn way. Okay? Stupid bitch. Bye-bye, fucking cunts. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, I thought the puppy killing saga was over. I don't know let's see what this is. I was hoping that Donis would be back. Whoa, it's just music. What is hold up? Let me turn it down a bit. ER visit due to a hit and run, and she's just like flexing her stomach. I'm assuming she's still pregnant. I mean, like, yeah, she, wait, where are we? Yeah, no, no, she'll still be pregnant. It's 2022. And in January of 2022, she got pregnant, I believe, or January, I don't know. My timelines might be mixed up because I think we're like looking at a montage of the dog killer clips. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So just taking a head count here or a pupper count, Letitia killed eight puppies. By dumping them in a garbage bag, putting them in a freezer, and listening to them whimper to death. She also admits she choked two grown dogs with her bare hands. And then there was little Golden Eye, the puppy that she allowed to suffer from heat exhaustion and die in her backyard while she was yard sailing. That is a grand total of 11 dogs she has killed out of either malice or neglect. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I guess I missed the strangled ones because maybe she just slipped that in. And my brain is trying to block this out. <laughs> I don't know. You are the worst person in the fucking world, Latitty. No wonder they took those dogs from you, bitch. Now, as you can see, later in her timeline, she does receive some internet trolling. And that's why she shifted from, oh, I'm a little good girl telling a story to her confrontational mode. And that's also why that last video exists. When the heat got too much for her, she pretended she got in a hit and run, which caused no damage to her car or her, went to the hospital for a couple of hours, then complained they didn't do anything and went home. Sounds like Heather. This is what she did <laughs> instead of threatening suicide because she was told ahead of time, don't even try that suicide shit with us, bitch. Oh, and just a side note, Latiti, don't ever challenge us to dig something up and find out. And all the documentation is there. Just go look. Because I did ask that vet clinic about that story you told. They said they would never do that, and they have no idea who the fuck you even are. Mic drop, son. So, this morning, I was upset because I had a shitty-ass dream. The lady I've been staying with couple days and I stayed with her a few times here and there she's got a lovely home I try to make it to where everybody's like okay yeah you're a good person whatever you're not a decent person you post shit on your Facebook that says something about trans kids not being like cut that shit out what let people be people you have too many opinions she wouldn't allow me to make dinner last night because she was studying and doing her homework I have to eat <clears throat> eat small meals periodically throughout the day. There I am making my salad and a few little clink planks so you know whatever. She turns, she whips around and she says, you know when I'm when I'm studying and doing all that, can you can you eat upstairs? Can you can you eat in your room? Oh hey, I can clear that up. Hey, no, no worries, Latidia. It's all a misunderstanding. Allow me to show you why you're not allowed to eat in the room where people are doing things like studying or reading. Uh, I'm interested. Yeah, what's what's gonna happen? <laughs> no. Oh god, an ASMR mukbang. Why do all these people notice how I mute myself when I'm eating, guys? And I'm usually off camera. I don't know what these guys are doing. <laughs> Mm. 
Is there, is it just lettuce and buns? Yeah. Her hair looks almost normal here, but she still looks weird. All right, we don't need to see all this. <laughs> I'm going to... All right, let's. You guys don't want to see your eat like this, do you? I mean, you guys can watch the Donuts video if you want to. I got to eat after this. So I don't want to ruin my appetite. She just keep going and going. Oh, well, here we go. It all it was was an advertise. She said, "Oh, they were just talking about rape on there and yada yada." All it was was an invitation for people to donate toward. Uh, individuals who have suffered through these uh domestic abuse situations they're not actually trying to help people i said that's not even the platform that somebody would reach out to seek out you know and then i said i've contacted places like that like charitable christian ministries and you know what they say to me they say my car payment is too much i mentioned that shit to her and she was she what does she do immediately Five hundred and twenty dollars for your car. Your car is too expensive. Maybe you should think about getting a lower payment. Blah 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 blah. blah. She's like a video game character. Ah, uh, as I was say, sit in the pipe. Sit in the pipe. You want to? You guys want to smoke drugs with Heather? Where's my drugs? All right, let's go. Let's get this uh, the show finished up here. So, people go around trying to enforce their will, like this crazy old bitch I was thinking. And um, <coughs> I told her, <coughs> and all she did was talk down to me, <coughs> talk down to me. <coughs> and I'm like, okay, whatever. <coughs> and I cleaned up. Come on, Heather, get your shit together. All my things, wipe everything down. We're sitting there, and I'm. I just called her Heather. I need to get my shit together. <laughs> Eating breakfast and, you know, just trying not to have any fucking morning sickness or get sick of her ass or whatever the fuck she's about to say. Because that's about how it is. Everybody has an opinion about how everybody else should live their life. And I'm thinking, bitch, yeah, I have an opinion about how you live your life as well. And all you do is go around bitching at everyone. I told her about the dream. That's you. That's fucking you. And I told her about my brother who had molested me. Molested me. And she said her exact words and her exact demeanor. She said, Oh, did your brother stick his pee pee in your vagina? I'm sure that's exactly how that conversation went. That sounds totally fucking legit. For someone to sit there and put it in such a vulgar little down, speaking down to me like that, I just and i say these things without even meaning them but i wish i could slit your fucking throat and then she's tried to argue that she wasn't being condescending or she wasn't talking down to me and i just said i just want to go look at that face <laughs> the fuck is this <laughs> I hate that I know people are going to watch this. I hate. Then don't upload it. If ever anybody sees me, I'm a little lady. so embarrassing. No, bitch. Why don't I just say these things out loud, pinpoint your address, and just say, hey, guess what? She's got a lot of fucking fancy shit over there. Don't know what she does in and out. She's all alone. She's just a crazy old bat that fucking says shit to people that fucking makes them want to commit suicide. Fuck you, people. Fuck you. Fuck you.
I will not fucking work. And I told everyone I will not fucking work. Fuck that shit. I am fucking stressed the fuck out. I would literally just slice someone's fucking throat. Then you will have a fucking story. Then you will fucking have me in fucking prison for the rest of my life. Then you'll keep me contained. That's how badly I want them dead. Hmm. <laughs> the eyes. My family, my ex-husband, every one of them. I don't even know how she had a fucking ex-husband, bro. That guy. That guy, man. I want them dead. When people come up to me as they start giving me advice, they, oh, you need to fill out people. You need to... <sighs> right in their face. Can I, can I just do that? Is, is, that, is that not cool? Is that not kosher? Well, friends, all good stories must come to an end. But this, this one does not. This one, we have at least two more videos like this. So we got like, she's still going to be around, I guess, for at least another couple of weeks. And then we'll follow the court case a bit, see if that's interesting. Um, there might be a couple more updates uh, from Owl. I didn't check that before. I was, uh, I don't know why I thought the Adonis videos would be able to get through them quicker. But we're almost, we're not almost done. Um I just mean the end is in sight eventually for Latia, and then we're going to have to go to someone else, but that's okay. Um, let's grab this off. And yeah, it's, I did almost four hours. <laughs> there you go. There you guys go. So um, if you want to do the Halloween costume contest, have your entries in before midnight on Halloween. And either tomorrow or the next day, there's going to be a special Spooky James stream. Um, so that should be fun. I got to carve those pumpkins back there still. I've been trying. I've been telling myself I'm going to carve for like days now. Um, but now it's crunch time. Like it's like it's technically Halloween Eve right now because it's past midnight. At least for me on the East Coast. Um, so, yeah, you guys have a great night. And... She is evil. I agree with you. I agree with you. And I'll see you all either tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll do something for you guys tomorrow. I'm off for a week. It's Halloween's week. <laughs> and uh, and then, yeah, Halloween and the first. So have a good evening, guys. Goodbye.